Hello there mortals, I'm Jensen and welcome back to Amnesia Custom Stories. This is called Abduction, recommended to me by Scott's World and it is supposed to be the second in a trilogy of the previous one I played, I can't remember what it's called, but if Scott can put it up in the chat right there then you'll definitely know. So you are startled by a loud crash in the middle of the night, investigate the source, I already actually started this and I didn't realise just how... Oh that's so embarrassing. That's so embarrassing. I'll have to edit like a crash in there or something like that. Okay, so now that we have an accurate amount of anxiety, let's start ransacking this place. I already found a lantern and some oil right in the immediate uh, starting of this game. Uh, apparently this is supposed to be the best custom story as well, isn't it? La Casa! Yes, that's it. That's exactly the one. La Casa was the first in this trilogy that I'm currently playing. All right, there's some, uh, there's a couple of guys around Jesus looking kind of cross. It's fine, I suppose. I think we're done in this bedroom, right? Unless there's like a secret up above the bed, like a person hiding up there or something. I don't think so. This is awful feng shui, by the way. I've seen so many people do this when I was building houses. They'll stick a dresser right next to the door and the dresser blocks the door so you can't really, can't really use it. Okay, use the key to, on the door to unlock it. Smart, locking your door to sleep. I do that every night. Hello? Hello? Did anybody just break into my home? I was asleep. I was, I was a slumber. I was enjoying some Somni. Okay, we'll go downstairs, I suppose. What a weird addition to the house if that's supposed to be like the upstairs and it's only a single bedroom at the end of a really annoyingly long hallway. Up an annoyingly long staircase. Why not just build it like right here? Why not? <laughs> Why waste the time? Ooh, a couple of flags over here. Don't recognize that one. That's the um, Prussian royal flag. Don't recognize that one. Also the Prussian royal flag. Very good. Okay. So there's got to be like a, a bunch of stuff hidden around the place in here, right? I'm hoping that this episode is going to be a lot less dark than the previous one as well. Oh, thank God Dog Shark's not here right now. He'd be having a conniption at all these chairs I'm throwing around the place. That is satisfying to look at. Nice! I'll make that the thumbnail for this video. Okay, we'll push onwards. Again, just more hallways. Does this guy just have, like, an infinite supply of money? There's a bunch of crap that we can break here. I don't really see anything in them. Okay, it's fine. Why is this piano glowing? A little bit strange. Something on it, maybe? No. Anything in here? Anything in these cabinets? No. But we can actually smash them for fun. Oh, that does fun. That is fun! Oh, I'm having a great time. I'm going to do this one from range. Nice! Okay, throw that uh, just off in the distance, just because I can. We'll go into the food storage. Cheer banging clickbait title. <laughs> oh, it'd be like that, uh, oil. Ooh. What was that game Markiplier played? It was like Cheer Banging Simulator. Okay, I don't know if we're being hunted, but I'm going to hide amongst these barrels. I'm going to pretend to be one of them. I'm going to wear one of them on my top. And I am, I'm... Oh, that's definitely not something we can open. I thought we could open that. Okay, we can definitely open that one, I think. A... I thought we were being attacked! Also, these chests are just red herrings as well. I keep thinking there's things in them, but there's not. I just accidentally end up flipping them over instead. Oh my god! No! I'm stuck! Why am I not running? Run, you idiot! Where is he? Oh, I've made such a mess. I've made such a mess that he can't... Oh no, I boxed myself into a corner. Maybe he won't notice. Maybe he won't see us. I'm gonna play Witch in the corner. Play Witch in the corner! Oh no, it did not work! Okay, he's given us enough love taps to really last us a lifetime. He's quite slow though, which is. Uh, oh, damn it! You cannot die yet. Okay, so to catch everybody up on the story, basically in the previous game that we played, we figured 
that there may or may not be an element that could cure everything that uh, may or may not exist. And on top of that, oh, we were supposed to die. That's good to know. And we found out our name is Eugene. Other than that, not a hell of a lot. There was kind of like this big experimental expedition into some Aztec ruins and all of the people in the Aztec ruins expedition ended up getting sacrificed in some way or another here. Oh, there's a hole that we could probably actually bend free to use as leverage to open that gate right there, but maybe that's not the case. I could probably fit through this, honestly. I could fit through that. Ah, very much did a die. I did. I did do a die. If a, if a die was a verb, I did, I did the die. Okay, all we can do is bang on the cage here. We have lost everything in our inventory. This is supposed to be our home, by the way. We woke up in here. Can't see anything. I'm pretty sure we're supposed to, like, break one of these poles off, right? Because I remember that from the Amnesia base game. Or maybe... Maybe there's something that can be done with these boxes here. Perhaps. Do we need line of sight to move these? No. Okay, what if we... kind of unlatch this... this thing with this box right here? No, it did not work. Why is this locked? Is it a padlock? Can't see. Well, it's unlatched! Okay, that's not the answer. This puzzle confused me for so goddamn long, but it's really easy when you don't be a big dumb like me. Really? Is that so? Okay. All right. Uh, let's start thinking about this in an abstract way. Are there pins that we can take out of these hinges here? No, there are not. What if we ram this bed into the door? Maybe? Maybe this is the answer? No, that's not the answer. There's not a hell of a lot that we can interact with. There's a bucket here. Don't think we do anything with that. I thought that we could probably like wiggle this bar right here and then use it as leverage to open the door, but it seems like that's really not the answer at all. Huh. Okay. I'm examining. I'm doing a big examine. I'm not seeing a lot, honestly. If you get confused, I have the answer for you. Uh, give me like, give me a, a really, really cryptic hint. Like old, tr no, old hermit living under a bridge vibes. Give me a hint like that. You know, like, uh, like, like you're in The Witcher 3. You're Geralt of Rivia going out hunting a monster and then suddenly you come across this dirty hippie in the bushes and he, he says something like if you look to the moon you will see the high rising of the water's noon or something like that <laughs> I mean what better have I got to do while stuck in this prison than solve riddles okay they've definitely built this okay I don't think we have to take one of these braziers off and then beat the lock off with it. That doesn't make any sense. I think this bed might not be the best there. I don't think there's anywhere we can jump up to using a bucket and a bed. But we may have to. I don't think that's the case at all. I thought it had to have something to do with that latch right there. Now that's definitely not helping. In fact, actually just j jiggling the door back and forward unlatches the lock. Which is pretty funny. Anything here, maybe? No. Stones are stone rocks are rocks. When one is clean, it's one to gleam. What in God's name could that possibly mean? I imagine there's like a loose brick or something, right? Because that's the only thing... <laughs> <laughs> that was way too cryptic. I, I think it was way too cryptic for me. Stones are our stone. Rocks are rocks. Okay. Stocks are stone. Stones are stone. Rocks are rocks. When one is clean, it's one to glean. Is there like a... Is, is, it, is it a 
bucket thing? Do I have to scoop up one of those cockroaches and then burn it? Is that what I'm being led to? I've broken the bucket. Oh no, I hope I didn't need this. I didn't need this, did I? Oh no. I feel like I may have needed that. Uh, we can't rotate the beard. No, we cannot. Okay then. Take a closer look at these walls. I don't really see anything that stands out as being kind of like a a unique one. No, I don't see it at all. Unless this bucket is now covering it, in which case I will be very upset. I thought that maybe I could wake my cellmate up, but it's it's not doing anything. Hmm. Anything on the ground, maybe? Nope, doesn't appear to be. Okay, I am completely lost. <laughs> how do I how do I get out of this prison? I'm just not gonna look at chat for a quick sec just in case I accidentally figure it out. But I don't think I will, somehow. Check the stone further further along the wall. If all but gone. Further along the wall? Wait, you mean this clipping texture right there? Nah, probably not. Further along the wall? That means nothing to me. Check the stone further along the wall, if all but gone. Like outside of the cell? Or like inside of the cell? Yeah, it's gotta be, it's gotta be in here, right? It's gotta be in the cell. It's an escape room. I'm trying to unwedge this bucket now. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but bars may also hurt. Yeah, tell that to the bucket. Oh, have I got it? I got it! Nice! Now we've got somewhere to poop while we're stuck in here. Maybe if we... Oh no! I think I've just caused the cataclysm. Oh no! <laughs> it's doing that Gmod thing! Oh my god! No! My bucket! Where is my bucket? Where'd it go? Okay, I- Oh, we can't like fit through that gap there, can we? We just maybe prop this up and jump through? Wow, you're right, that was really, really easy. That was really easy. I should have known, I... <sighs> that hurts. Okay, we are out though, and we've got some lore, and it looks like uh, we've also got a playmate. Uh, sir, do you have time for an inspection? I've seen enough. I've seen enough. I uh, don't know what he's going to be doing tonight, but I am going to be taking his bucket. Let's put it back on here, see what happens. Oh, nope, missed. Here we go. And we ram it down now. No, I don't think so. Damn, that is not the intended route. What do you mean it's not the intended route? Is that actually true? How were we supposed to get out of here? And also, how long did it, did it take you to figure it out? Because that, honestly, I am not proud that that took me almost 10 minutes to figure out. Okay. I'm gonna make a bit of a mess here just in case something attacks us. Because we are dexterous and the enemies don't appear to be. There is some nice cooked flesh here. Maybe we can eat some of this. Yum yum. Catch in my mouth. Gob. <laughs> Funny. Uh, what's up here? Probably a... I think this is the sacrificial altar, right? Okay, we've got this hollow needle for vivisection. Took you an entire stream. Are you serious? Did what? To just like go through this gap? Well, how did you do it? If there's actually another way, how did you do it? Because I still don't really see it. Okay, there's obviously lore there. 
Uh, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to look right into this guy's gooch, and I'm going to put this this needle right up his right up his perennial nerve. Oh, I can't use it that way apparently. It's strange. All right, let's take a look at this note. Experimentation. Experiment log 17th. 17, 21st of August, 1840. The subject's response to the new strain of formula was less than optimal. The subject seemed to suffer from extreme pain instantly upon receiving the injection, which lasted for several seconds. Once the pain had subsided, his screams had ceased. He began to exhibit a complete loss of muscular control, seizing rather violently. Fortunately, he was shackled to the table. In the midst of the seizure, the subject's eyes rolled up into his head, and shortly thereafter, his breathing and heartbeat stopped. Upon death, he immediately began to leak a green substance from every pore and hole on his body. Ooh. It was extremely acidic, and I may find a use for it later. I must, however, burn his remains. It seems this mixture is far from the serum I seek. I will still need to alter the recipe before injecting Subject 19 with it. I think that's us! He is, after all, the one with the highest potential, considering the attachment the Shadow has to him. And that servant didn't exactly handle him with care. Good thing I keep lording him handy. I shall spend, I shall send for another prisoner tomorrow and try again. There is a single brick that is cleaner than the rest. You can take it out of the wall and throw it at the door. No way. No way. What, like on the ground? Oh, well, I found a way through. That's fine. Okay, so we've just found some lore. We are a test subject. Which actually correlates well with uh, the whole abduction theme that this game was going for with the title abduction. I'm still ransacking. I'm looking. I'm looking for things to take. Looking for goodies, but there weren't any. All I've done is made a mess at this ritual table. Man, that's going to piss off whoever lives here. Which I hope is not us. Dungeon halls. Alright, we're on our way to the next area. This just looks like an oblivion loading screen. Thumbnail worthy. Oh yeah, that's right. We don't have a lamp, do we? All we have is our eyes. What's in here? Hello? Anyone in? Ooh. We're not alone, are we? I don't think we're alone. Some scales here. There is uh, some forceps. Probably going to be a goodie behind this box. Or not. A glass vial. Well, that correlates well with the acid that we just heard about. All right, what is this? The master, one of two. He, he has returned somehow back from the dead. What am I to make of this? I must document the occurrence. Late last night on August 21st, I was retiring from my work in the prison. I heard a loud explosion coming from below me. I sent a servant to investigate the noise, but it did not return. Right, the servant is the, the kind of grunts, right? Um, that kind of haunt us at the start of the Amnesia of the Dark Descent game. I ventured downstairs myself, hoping whatever caused the noise would be either dead or gone. To my horror, as I peered through the door from whence the sound came, there stood a ghastly man, pale as the moonlight itself, hovering, as if held up by a supernatural force. I dare not approach him. I must leave at once. I pray he is unable to track me down. It may already be too late. Okay, so we're not alone. Good to know. If we're not alone, we should probably approach with a little bit more tact. And possibly some caution. Well, that didn't sound good. That actually sounded bad, I would say. I would I would consider what, what happened just then bad. Okay, safety. I don't know what happened, but at one point, AI threw the bucket out of the cell and told, <laughs> told me I had softlocked myself to restart the game. I don't know what was going on there. Yeah, I lost... I lost my bucket. I lost my bucket too. I was trying out literally a last-ditch effort, and I lost my bucket to do so. Oh, a saving artifact! I haven't seen any of those in ages. It will not be long now, my love. I have found him. I can use him. I can return to you. I will not fail again. That's weird and unhealthy. I think I hear it. I think I hear the monster. Piss on this! Piss 
on this. I'm afraid. I'm afraid there's some oil. What do you mean the lantern is now fully refilled? I don't have a lantern. Ooh. We got a Blair Witch here, right? We have to Blair Witch here. We don't have a choice. Blair Witch in the storeroom. Are we okay? Are we okay, man? Can't tell if I, there's actually someone in here, but I hear something. Okay, I'm going to become one with the barrel. Ooh. I think he's in the other room. I think that is really close to us. I don't see him. He's right behind us. I see nothing. I literally see nothing. I don't even think there's anyone in here. What was all that about? He didn't even bust the door down. Okay, obviously this big rock has to go. Okay, I've made too much of a mess. Hello? Why am I digging around in these rocks? Is there a reason for it? Maybe. Only one way to find out. My god, those rats will not shut up. There's literally nothing under the rocks. Okie dokie. So there was nothing in this room except for a slight amount of oil that we can't even use. Did he break the store down? Probably. Yep, he most certainly did. Okay, I'm going to do a save. And now we're leaving. I'm going out into the light. I don't think he's near us, actually, because I don't hear any heartbeat. What's up here? It's a giant crevice. What's down here? Probably that's what we use the explosive jar with. Is that a... No, that's a wall. Good. What else are we looking for? So going back down that area was a complete waste of our time, wasn't it? Is monster... Is monster close? Is monster here? I hear the jingles! I hear jingle jangles! Hello? Oh, okay. I don't think there's actually a monster here. Hmm... Maybe we should just be a little bit cautious because we hear these sound effects, but I don't see anything. Yeah, there's nothing here. There's nothing here. It's completely empty. I've got this and I found a cold chisel as well. Oh, and a tin box. I'm going to jump into this just in case we're about to be hunted. Are we about to be hunted? Sounds. I don't understand the sounds. Okay, we appear to be pretty good, actually. I don't know. I don't know what those sounds are. But they don't seem to be indicative of some kind of monster, do they? Wow, this is a big room. Uh, we'll have to come back to this one, I think. After we explore the end of this corridor. I'm running! Uh, that looks like a... Barred door. It's locked! There might be a key somewhere. How do you no, it's not! I just watched the lock come off! Alright, fine. We don't have a key, do we? No, we don't. We have a chipper. AKA a cold chisel! Because that's exactly what it is. Okay, I'm coming in here. Excellent. There is a gigantic wheel here. Why am I getting a tutorial for that wheel? Uh, there's a bunch of buckets that I've just stood in. There's some poos on my shoe. We now have the mallet to create the hammer ankle chisel. Wonderful. We got some oil. Again, don't have a lamp. I take that back. I completely take that back. We now have a lamp. Anything here? No, there never is, is there? Okay. Let's put our lamp on so we can see, and we'll come into this jail right here. 
That is a job for the chisel. Boom! Okay. I'm hiding in here. Uh, I'm one with the barrel. I'm one with the barrel. I'm one with the barrel. I'm one with the barrel! Oh, he's definitely coming in here. I should not be looting anything right now. But I am. Hello? Is he still in here? Yep, there he is! I'm one with the barrel. 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 Key! I'm one with the barrel. I'm one with the barrel. I'm one with the barrel. I'm one with the barrel! I'm one with the barrel! Be gone! But! <laughs> Damn, look at that booty. Look at that thing go! What'd that booty do? I should not be sexualizing that thing. It's my defense mechanism! Okay, I'm surprised you didn't hear that. Take that tinderbox as well. Okay, not a lot else that we can take, it seems. What's in here? That's a cauldron! Good thing we've still got this glass jar. Wonderful. Now we've got a glass jar with acid. Sweet! Alright, what's in here? Nothing. It's just a torture rag. That's disturbing. Okay. Okay. So, now we have a key. We've got a hammer and chisel. We've got two bottles of oil. We've got a hollow needle. Probably for our own vivisection. And we've also got a full lamp. Alright, I'm gapping it. I'm gapping it this way and I'm going to hope he's not this way. No, he's not this way. What an imbecile! Okay, let's use the gate key on this. Wonderful. And we'll close it so what's his face doesn't come up our, up our rear like some kind of horrible invasive laxative. It's locked with a simple lock. Not for long! Oh, of course. Acid? No. Needle? <laughs> Just gotta pick the lock! Just gotta pick the lock! Makes the most sense, doesn't it? Alright, so now that we're down here, we probably have to pour acid on this lock here, don't we? Too sturdy to break? Is it? Okay, what about acid? Nope, the acid severely weakened the lock. Let's try it again. Boom! Oh, wonderful. What? Why? Why? What's happening? No! Okay, we're gonna have to try bee hopping. Uh, thank you. We wouldn't have made that jump if it wasn't for his uh, kindness right there. Ah, uh, we can't reach that one. He just moved, annoyingly. All right, where is it? Where is it? Oh, I'm just gonna make a mad dash, I think. B hop over here. Make a mad dash up this. Yep, very good. That was uh, actually very helpful. Can't go along the side here, can we? No. Yay! Whoa, that was close. Yay! No! Oh, whoa. Okay, so we got two choices now. We can go indoors, or we can go outdoors over there. I think we chase. I think we chance it indoors, right? I'm gonna chance it indoors. Oh! Damn it! It was waiting for us. Uh, he probably would like a taste of this puzzle, wouldn't he? There you go, buddy. All right, he's gonna go chase that for a bit. I don't see anything in here that we can take, which is actually a little bit frustrating because we came in here for oh. That's good. Anything over here, though? Uh, there is a tinderbox. We could probably... No, that's not going to work. I was thinking we could maybe just stagger boxes and make it over that way. We probably could, actually. Or we could just flat out jump like an absolute stupid aim. Come over here, see if there's anything over here to grab. There appears to be nothing over here to grab, but I suspect that there's going to be something over that way as well. Let's just, let's just get it. Okay, good. Oh, drugs! Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord enough. So, I think it's pretty safe to say that the storeroom is completely cleaned out, right? Uh, we probably need something to throw to distract the water monster. Unless it moves off of its own accord, which I doubt. Ah, here we go, perfect. A second potato. Yeah, he was right at our feet as well. 
Okay, now that he's far enough away, we'll come over here. What an oaf! I'm running! I'm going again! I'm getting it! Wait, were there goodies in here? Yes! I thought I saw something out of the corner of my eye. Wonderful. Some goodies. Uh, let's take a big long jump across here, because we know we can make it. And the path annoyingly diverges. Which way do we go? That one looks like the path of most resistance. That one looks like an easy jump. Well, maybe it's not. Maybe maybe this is the easy jump. Oh, well, there's only one way to know, right? And that's just by getting into the water. What is that? That's a gate. It's just a gate. Okay, pardon that, moi, sir. Okay, almost missed that completely. It's a heavy gate. You cannot lift it. Right, and I bet the controls are going to be on the other side, right? Monty is Dr. Wang enjoyer. Okay, okay, okay. He's going to enjoy my subtle flesh in a moment. Okay, I'll go to this one next. And then I'm going to make a mad sprint over to this one before he can reach me and over here as well. And then I'm going to sprint over here. How fast is he? He's not very fast, actually. We can probably just gap it over here. We probably don't even need to get into the water. Yeah, he's actually really slow. We can outrun him. Okay, good. This is the atrium. There's nothing over there. There is a storeroom right there. Kind of want to... Kind of want to go to. But now he's goose guarding. I'm going for it anyway. I don't care. Alright, what is there here for me to take? Ooh, there's a lever right here. It goes up. The lever goes up. I hope that's not on some kind of time limit. Ow! Oh, I didn't realize he was right at our feet. Damn, I actually think that is on a time limit. Let's take some uh, drugs. And then we will... Maybe... We'll, we'll just wait for this to tick down. And then as soon as it does, we'll knock it up and we'll sprint off into the other direction, yeah? Unless we need to go into the atrium first. This is a generous amount of time. We probably would have made it by then. Okay, we're going for it now. We're getting it! I'm running! Or am I swimming? I don't know, I can't tell. Waiting! I'm waiting! I'm waiting! Okay, we're almost there. We'll just slip and slide under here. Very nice. There is a human torso right there. That is uh, gross. Very gross. Why did we come in here? Tinderbox. A little bit of oil. Some books that we... Oh, there's a key in there. Was the atrium locked? I bet it was. I bet the... I bet the atrium was locked. Okay, let's take this torso. And we'll throw it over here. Dinner's ready! Go and get your dinner! Or maybe you could just not come in here at all. Why, why is he waiting out there? What's he waiting for? Okay, it seems as though he's stuck out there. Good. Okay, I'm gapping it. I'm actually gapping it. We've got to get into the water every now and then for a little bit of waiting action, unfortunately. Okay, we're actually in a pretty good spot. We're only slightly slow to apply the water, so we probably actually just sprint over to this door and then use it. I'm happy with this. No! Oh, that was close. We have a key. We've got a small silver key, and now we are going into the atrium. Whoa. This is a hairy mod. This is a really hairy mod. Whoa. Nice digs. There is uh, some kind of bloodletting item here and a note. The path ahead. When the eagles see blue and lions see red, one drop of your blood shall reveal the path ahead. Eagles see blue, lions see red. Eagles see blue. Yep. Lions see red. The lions do see red. And the eagles are seeing blue. Do we need items or something? Okay. That fountain has always given me the willies. I've never liked it. Is this going to hit me? Well, not now. Okay, we'll go down here first. I didn't think we could go down here first. I immediately regret my decision. Never mind. We'll come in here, into the archives. So, are we supposed to be like Daniel in this story? Because the map 
seems very, very similar to Amnesia The Dark Descent. If not verbatim, the same map. Yeah, there's nothing we can really take in here. I seem to remember there being a couple of like little gentle scares in Amnesia The Dark Descent. But not necessarily an enemy patrolling this area. The archives. I don't think I don't think there was ever an enemy in here. We're playing the custom story, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Okay, good. That's your job to figure that out. Oh my god! Ah, you penis! Why? I saw a hand. I. The hell? Oh, I see. I can actually take books off of this bookshelf. Did that thing exist? Oh, it's my job to figure out whether or not we're Daniel from Amnesia. Well, if you say it like that, it just makes me think that this is in fact Daniel from Amnesia. The Dark Descent into Madness. It didn't exist! That thing wasn't real! Although the door is in fact missing, so it existed to an... I'm gaslighting myself now. Some oil, great. The one thing that this mod is doing better than the uh, previous one that I played, screw that. Screw that a hundred times. Is that it's giving you an adequate amount of oil. The last one I feel, I did it very, very quickly. I don't feel like we got a lot of oil. I'm gonna take a thumbnail screenshot of that. That's nice, very pretty. What's in here? No, that's the ambience of death? Okay. Good. Pardon? Look, if you're gonna do um, false chord screams, you gotta kind of get at the back of the throat. That kind of stuff, right? Okay, check out these drawers. Please don't take that out of context or clip it or anything like that. Move this chair somewhere where it needs to be. Good. And we'll read this after putting our lantern away. To open a portal. I've finally done it. I have opened a portal to another realm. This is a success even Alexander would envy. His use of orbs is far from the best course of action. Through my vast number of experiments, I've finally managed to create the chemical needed for the ritual. The key ingredient, as I suspected, is the serum I have been attempting to develop over the past few months. I have the mixture stored elsewhere in the castle, but I shall record the ingredients for further use. Most components are easy enough to acquire. There are ample stores of mercury and bromine needed. However, the most difficult ingredient to collect is the blood of a twisted. The foul magics that course through the creatures who make their blood most useful for this ritual. The order of combination is very important, however. The blood must be extracted first. Then, the mercury must be added, after which the mixture must be placed upon a burner to heat it before adding the bromine. We've already done this. As a note of caution, the Twisted's blood will give off a very powerful gas when extracted and may cause dizziness and hallucinations. Once the mixture is poured upon the altar, the magic runes will do the rest. The portal will open, but I have not yet found a safe way to enter it. Perhaps I am unworthy. in the corner did that need to happen that sound did that did that jump scare sound actually need to happen see him. I think we're too close to a light so I can't actually tell if we're really, really... Ooh, no, I can tell. I can tell. I can tell. Wait, we need to... Do you think it would be too cheeky to use this on him? I think it might be the best course of action because I assume he's one of the twisted, right? Oh, brother! Oh, please! Please, take this! 
<laughs> no, it. What do you mean no object to use it on? Did you not see the thing in front of us? I won't take it out of context. I'll just put it into a new one. That's exactly how you should be taking uh, my words, honestly. Cherry pick. Cherry pick my words and then and then make your own things out of them. Oh, we auto saved in that there closet. That's lovely. Okay. What about in here? It's stuck. Would it still be stuck if I needled it? What about cold chisel? No. You probably knock out the hinges of a door with a cold chisel. This is a uh, ominous, isn't it? This is very ominous. A lot of thumbnails that I'm taking though. So what is this thing? It's a red glass shard, and now I'm having some kind of panic attack. Are we about to be raided? Or did I just witness something slightly Oh my god! No, no, no. Oh! I'm running! I'm running away! Did I just cheese the, the, the chase sequence? I know there was supposed to be a chase sequence, but I feel like I've just found a way around it. Also, I found one of the chemicals needed. It was, where is it? Or did I just find the oil? I don't know, hard to tell actually. Hello! Okay, should we just gap it? Should we just gap it out? Or should we like try and loot this room properly? I feel like we should try and, you know, utilize the fact that we are currently in stealth in this immense action sequence. We are Daniel! I recognize this room. There's like a, um, there was a thing in here in the base game. Uh, there's a couple of tinder boxes here. Very, very nice. Yes, thank you. I don't know if this, action sequence is supposed to be this intense. What about in here? Did we, did we have a thorough look in here? I think we may have, but we're being chased, we're being chased, we're being chased. I'm out, 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 I'm out. Well, that was harrowing. Okay, what's next? <laughs> oh, my days! How many times have I broken this game so far? Three? Three? Three times? I would say. I've broken this game. Okay, we'll come up here into the West Wing, where nothing bad is going to happen to us, because nothing bad happened to us in the campaign. What's that corner? Is it being green screened appropriately? Here we go. Change that. Oh, well, this is way worse than the campaign, I remember. Let's go in here. It's stuck. What if we use the needle on it? No. What if we use the cold chisel on it? No. Nothing. Okie dokie. Right. I'm going to go to the other end of this hallway. Ah, look, the meat. The meat is back. The door is stuck due to a broken lock. Here, have this hollow needle. Nope. Here, have a cold chisel. Nope. Yeah, have a uh, red glass shard. Nope, that's not gonna help. Okay. I'm coming in here first. Wow, this place is big, isn't it? This is really big. I forget the scale of Amnesia the Dark Descent. No loot, nothing of note. There is a, um, some guy praying. Hello? Someone? Someone under the bed? That was the weirdest sound. When I was talking about like, hey, give me a riddle that sounds like a, a hermit living under a bridge. That was the, the kind of vibe that I was going for. That sound right there. Okay, two more rooms. Oh, one more room. What's all the way down here? Probably a jump scare and a chase scene, right? Well, this place is so big. Oh, there's nothing of note in there. There's somewhere to hide in here. Good to know, good to know, good to know, good to know, good to know. My God, it just gets bigger and bigger. 
There is literally everything to search here. I gotta be more aggressive when I open things. So I'm not checking them properly. Anything in there? Nope. Anything in here? Nope. Alright, another bed. A thousand bookshelves. This one looks weird. And it's also blocking a uh, doorway right there. I don't know if that's intentional or if we have to find some kind of item to move it. Probably have to find an item to move it, to be honest. It's probably going to be on one of these bookshelves, right? Or not? Any on here? Anything to interact with? No? I'm just going off of a hunch. Because my other hunch is that there's like a, a little lever or something that we... No, there's definitely nothing through there. There's like a little lever or something on the wall that we missed. Nope, that's where I would have hidden one, had I hidden one. It was behind that bed right there. Nothing back there, okay. Okay, we'll move onwards. It's stuck. What if we use a needle on it? What if we use a cold chisel on it? Okay, what if we give up and leave? What do we get then? Right, so... I'm not seeing a hell of a lot that we can do. Oh yeah, that's good. That's good feng shui right there. Hello? It's me, Jensen! The YouTuber! I've currently started raiding your home! I don't know if you're here. Owner of the house. Legal proprietor. Nope, nothing. 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 Why am I even looking in these things? There's nothing in them. Uh, that's weird. Oh, okay. Okay. So the answer to that puzzle that we solved was uh, just so far away. That was so, so far away. That's like three rooms away. Did we do that? I'll just say so. Yeah, we did that. We did that. That was us. Okay, good. Now we've got access to this door that we knew was here. Oh, this is nicely... This is well lit. And there's a couple of things we can break. Nice. Anything over here? Not really. There's a chest with a tinderbox in it. That's very cash money. We can't move those boxes unusually. What is that? Is there something on, on top of these bookshelves maybe? No? Nothing? Nope. Doesn't look like it. Anything inside of these display cases? Nope. Doesn't look like it. A lot of boxes. Did we seriously only come in here for a single tinderbox? Oh, no, there's another chest here. And a key. Okay, that's... Chest. Cooperate. Please, cooperate. I'm moving my mouse in literally every direction, and it's... it's... Okay, I had to move it to the right. Oh! One with the barrel! 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 We are one with the barrel! One with the barrel. 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 We are one with the barrel. One with the barrel. We are one with the barrel. They won't find us because we are one with the barrel. Ah, it's fine. It's fine. I don't hear anyone. Accidentally just turned caps lock on. Hello? I'm sorry if I've invaded your privacy by coming through here. I'm not really sorry about what I did to that chair. Why is that closed? Isn't that how we came through here? I'm not even gonna go up to it in case something just starts trying to bust it down. Oh, uh, no, we don't have a choice, actually. There is nothing else that we can do. We have to go up to it. Okay. I'm ready for a jump scare. Oh, of course. I was ready for it, and yet it still happened. <laughs> Honestly, guys, I think it might be one with the barrel. I am. I'm one with the barrel. Uh, I think that's one of those uh, dudes, right? We have to stick the needle into his ass. Hello? We've got to stick the needle into his ass. We've got to harvest his ass for some nice blood. What the hell is the point of this room? Okay, this one's locked. Do we need a key? Yep. That was easy. Oh no! Oh no! 
I suspect witchcraft is uh, happening right here. Okay, that was a weird opening. Ah, crowbar. Thank you very much. Piss. There's literally nowhere in here to hide. I'm still gonna look in these drawers though. Okay, where is he? Let's get this needle out in case he attacks us. Because we still need his blood. I might... I might be a fraidy cat, but I'm brave and functional. Ah, there's no one here. It's probably just all of the uh, dead dogs that Alexander of Brennenberg left behind. Probably just these ghosts. Object to use it on. Right, so I'm pretty sure that we have got everything that we need to from here, because we now have a crowbar. We now have a crowbar. And now we're back in safety. Is that two areas down? I feel like there's two areas down. We didn't get a bit from the atrium. We definitely got one from downstairs, and I think we're going to need four anyway. Yeah, that's definitely what we're going to have to do. That is a strange animation. Oh, look, they make the sprite face the character now, which is, uh, what? A dog shark? Shark dog, I think? Suggested that they should have done with the water in the previous mod. I think we also have to go back in here. I don't really want to tussle with that gigantic dickhead, but I don't think we really have a choice. No, okay, so we can't use a crowbar on that door there. What about this far off one? Can we use a crowbar on this far off door? Yep, door is stuck. Yes! Okay, so we weren't done here. Oh, nice. Uh, that's a mess. There's lots of meat all over the ground. Anything in here? No, there's nothing in there. That's... Okay, that's fine, I suppose. Ah, that's a decomposing torso. Ah! Perfect! This is a, uh, a second arm that we could probably actually use. That looks like it's going to explode if I get too close to it. Let's not get too close to it. I think I've also found the other note right here. Dining hall key, thank you very much. Final words. He found me. As I write this, his monsters claw at my door. It will not hold long. My doom bears down on me quickly. Ironic how long I tried to reach the next realm only to be sent there in a matter of moments by everything I sought to escape. Perhaps I will return one day. He managed to do so. Vengeance burns in his heart. How long until he realizes his hope is false? How many lives will he steal away before he learns the truth? I suppose it matters not. My time has come to an end. Forgive me! I was not fast enough. JW. That is not an acronym that I'm familiar with in the Amnesia games. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh no, 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 oh no. Let's get this needle out. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Is he coming? There's nowhere to hide in here. I highly doubt he's coming. There's no one there! It's fine! Don't get your titties in a twizzle. So we got the dining room key, which I assume is this one right here. Where is it? Right here. No, apparently that's not the dining room. The dining room has to be here though, right? Otherwise it just wouldn't make sense. Is it, is this the dining room? All of the doors are closed now, which is a little bit annoying, but fortunately, never mind. I was about to say all of the things we ransacked are staying ransacked, but they are not. So we have to search everything anyway. Okay, nothing in here. This is not really a dining room. It's probably more of a, um, I don't know, bedroom, I'd say, with a bunch of desks. Dr. Wang into house. Dr. Wang into bed. If that's what you're f referring to, the, the Dr. Wang arm, just kind of lying on the bed, having a chill. Having a chill. All right, what's through here? This is what I would assume to be a dining room. This right here. Okay, there is also a door all the way down here. I don't know if we opened. It's stuck. I actually think this one leads out to the entrance of the area that we're currently in. And it does seem like everything 
to do is enclose in its own little ecosystem. As was Amnesia the Dark Set. However, I'm not seeing a dining room. I do remember in the base game, there was a dining room way at the end that way of the map. This map that we're on, not a different map entirely. So maybe right at the end here and then we hang a right, possibly? I nope, definitely don't want to go that way. Yeah, it was supposed to be like right there, wasn't it? Okay, who's in here? This is just a study. Maybe the dining room is not actually in this area. Actually, now that I think about it, not every little section of the map has been its own enclosed ecosystem. So maybe we are actually supposed to go to a different area entirely. Which I'm more than happy to do. Alright. Uh, down there was the atrium of their west wing. So we haven't taken a look at the other side of this area. And we still need a bunch more crystals as well. Annoyingly. Oh, there's actually three doors over here. This one leads to some pretty soothing basement nightmares, right? Oh, this is where the wine cellar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is where what's my doodle, Wilhelm, and his band of thugs who used to source people for the, the torture experiments Alexander of Brennenberg was doing. This is where they got turned into those gigantic uh, yucky monsters with the, the torn out jaw and the really nice asses. Ah, numbers. Right. We don't have to solve base game puzzles as well as these ones too, do we? We probably do, actually. I seem to remember that lever switch being in the base game. Uh, I don't rightly remember there being anybody down here, though. At least not immediately. Ah, here we go. A note. 415. Okay. 415. 4.15. I wonder if we solve that really, really fast or not. Lord Nub! Nice. Looks like Wilhelm didn't get to find that. What's in here? There is nothing in there. Uh, there's a couple of tinderboxes up here we're never going to use. Excellent. Are uh, any of these false panels? Ever since I played Skyrim, that mission in the Hunting Brew Meadery, I think that's what it's called, I've always been suspicious of false panels on the casks. Which they also did in Oblivion, too. Uh, is this a chest or is it a... No. Just one item. This is two items. Ah, excellent! There's actually a, a wealth of things in there. Can I have them, please? Game. Game, come off it. Okay. We are one with the barrel. In fact, we are the barrel. Stay upright while I loot. Thank you. Good. You may now fall. Okay, that cask is fine. What's in here? Nothing. Absolutely dick diddly. Uh, got a razor blade there and a tinderbox just down in this corner that I will filch for the collection. What is in this? Is that like a note in a bottle? Or is it the label on the bottle? Hard to tell, actually. It doesn't smash. Okay, what? Yeah. Hello? Wilhelm? Oh, hello! I didn't expect him to be down here! One with the barrel. We're one with the barrel. We're one with the barrel. We're one with the barrel. Ah, oh, we're in the light! We're one with the barrel. 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 He's still in here! We're one with the barrel. One with the barrel. We're one with the barrel. We're one with the barrel! We're one with the barrel. 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 Woo! We're one with the barrel. Okay, he's left the room, I think. Actually, can't be too certain, but... I'm just going to assume that we have kind of bested him mentally, and I'll assume he's gone. Okay, we're going to have to move all of these barrels. Sorry, barrels. 
Okay, and we're probably also gonna have to find like another, what the hell is this? This door has no visible handle. There must be another way to open it. How about a hammer and a chisel? No. How about a needle? No. How about a dining hall key? No. How about the glass jar that we still have for some reason? No. Oh, okay. We are going around him. I don't think that there's really anywhere to hide in here. We could hide in the closet, but why would we bother? Damn, there's no barrels around here to hide with. We'll just slightly close this. Just to impede his path if he wants to come in here. Here he is. Oh, he's coming in. Well, that works. <laughs> okay, we'll go around him. We've shut him in there, which is pretty funny, actually. Uh, what is in here? A couple of bottles. Doesn't really look to be a lot. I'm gonna start sprinting around. Have we been in here? No, we have not. None of this looks familiar. In fact, there's nothing in here. Why did we open this? Oh, actually, never mind. There is a key. East Wing key. Okay, I didn't realize it was locked, but thank you very much for clarifying uh, before I ask, game. Thank you for the unsolicited advice. Everybody say thank you to the to the game for the unsolicited advice. Okay, there's still that one door that we don't know how to open, though. It had a giant skull on the front of it. Maybe this is the last place we should be coming to. Okay. Now, should we gap it? Up into the rafters. Is the stairs? They function. Okay, I'm going. I'm doing it. I'm, do I'm doing a big penis move. The penis is hanging out. Atrium. What? Uh, atrium. Yes, okay. Atrium. And what was back here? Oh, well, the numbers. It was 4 and 15, right? So. Right. I think down below is supposed to equal 15. Up top is supposed to equal 4. So, we'll go for... Five, six. No, that's definitely wrong. Okay. All right, what's up top? So, uh, up top has to be even, regardless of what we end up with. So we'll only go for the even ones. Or we could go for two odds. I can't actually see the numbers up top. Uh, this one won't move. Wait, if it's in the right place, does it just lock in place? No. Okay, so we've got three, and this is probably the answer. Three and three up here. And then we've got five, six. Yep, that makes 11, and then two twos. I think I've broken this one. Oh no, have I actually broken it? Oh no, I have! It's not, it's not locking into place, it can't move. Oh, there we go. No. Excellent. I think we've solved everything down here that there is to solve, unless... I'll oh, piss on this. Okay, we're gonna go hide back here. You know why? One with the barrel. One with the barrel. One with the barrel. We're one with the... Oh, we're one with the barrel! 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 He's not gonna notice if I, like... If I move things around, is he? He's not that smart. We're one with the barrel. One with the barrels. One with the barrel. Whoa, no! Okay, as soon as he rounds this corner, if he rounds this corner, I'm gonna huck a barrel into his face and run around him. I dare you to come and investigate me! I double dog dare you! I triple dog dare you! Ah, he can't. He can't handle this. We're one with the barrel. Look, we're one with the barrel. My Jedi mind tricks are, uh, are paying dividends. Where is he? Is he still in here? Is he still in here? One with the barrel. 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 Is he in the doorway? One with the barrel. One with the barrel. One with the barrel. 
Okay, I'm leaving the sanctuary of the barrel. I'm gonna go see if the door down below has actually opened because I've got a sneaky suspicion that it very well may have. I'm gonna crouch in case... What did I call him? I gave him a name, didn't I? Back in the base game. I can't remember what it was. I'll have to rewatch that series. Wait, was that it there? Yes! That was it! Okay, good. So we've now got the shard right here. And I'm gonna gap it up these stairs. Now that we actually have the shard. So that is pretty good. That gives us a little bit more security. We've now got two of four of the required shards. And now we are back in the safety and sanctuary of what I assume to be the player hub. Okay. What's going on through here? This is still very nice to look at. So now we've got a key to the east wing. One of these two doors leading into here has to be the east wing. Is it this one? No, that's the dining hall, which we have a key for too. Right here. How is it that I always get so lucky as to pick exactly which direction to go into? Right, what's through here? There's a couple of plates. And they smash. Great. Muzzle tough. I hope I said that right. I don't know, I've never said it before. A lot of paintings in here. Quite jubilant in this area, isn't it? I'm fond of this. Oh, there's not gonna be like a key on one of these chairs or something that we just have to scour to find, is there? Or like a piece of lore or some kind of item that we need. I'm gonna look, I'm actually gonna look. I'm gonna scour all of these chairs for items because if I were to hide a secret, I would be hiding them in plain sight. Literally right here. I don't see any though. Okay, no, 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 nothing here so far. All I'm finding is wooden chairs, which... Honestly, I don't know what I expected. Okay, there's nothing in there. Storage? Why? Why do we need to go into storage? I ask again, why do we need to come down here? Oh, that's pretty, actually. Screenshot! Let's take the dark path first. Okay, storage is actually an absolute horrid place to be, it seems. Good, that chest actually opened as soon as we asked it to. Very cash money indeed. What's through here? The door is stuck due to a broken lock. Well, how about some... Oh, we need more acid, don't we? Ah. Or we need a crowbar. One of those two. The door is locked and will not open without a key. How about a hollow needle? No, nothing. Okay, I did do my damnedest. Oh, I didn't even notice these doors here. Ah, oh, I hate that. But it's an opportunity to make an absolute mess. Yes! Oh, I love this. Oh, yes. Theodore! That was his name. Thick thighs Theodore. How could I forget such a, such a voluptuous name? Good old Theo. Okay, nearly just hit myself in the face with that. I did not ask you to do that. Okay, moving on. That was probably the definition of sus. Oh, right, storage. That's why there's so much stuff down here. Oh, we're out of oil. That's okay. We literally have an unlimited supply. Well, maybe not literally, but we definitely have close to an unlimited supply. I think we're probably going to beat this custom mod before we run out of oil. Unlike the last custom mod, which really did not give you anywhere near enough oil. Okay, good. We are now in a place of sanctuary. And the barrels have given us some free oil because we are one with the barrels. Good. I hate to, I hate to red pill everybody so much, but you know, when you understand the glory of being allied with the barrels, you start to understand just how powerful you are in this universe. Draw is blocked from the other side, that sucks. But okay, that's fine. Right, moving on. So there was nothing in here, was there? There was just this door, which is stuck to a broken lock. And we need a crowbar to get through it, which we broke, annoyingly. Crowbar under here? No. 
Uh, what if we move these beams? Does the ceiling fall out or something? No. Oh, maybe they're just there for storage, actually. Okay, there's nothing down here. It seems like we literally need to go into the other area to progress this area here. So we'll do that right now. But you know what? This right here is just so goddamn gorgeous. I can't help myself. I'll take a screenshot. I love that. I love that entrance right there. Okay, that was noisy and unnecessary. Can we break these pots? No. No, we cannot. Anything up here? No. Anything in there? Yes! What? Seriously? Ow! Derp, it's fire. What did you think would happen? I touched fire. It burned me. I have an owie. I should find a way to put it out and maybe find some aloe. <laughs> that is funny as hell. I adore that. I know how to do it as well. We need to go into the atrium. We use the glass jar on the fountain and then we take it back in there and we splash it on the fountain. No, on the fire. We don't splash it on the fountain. Okay, since we've got a blue shard, let's actually use it. We'll put it right here up beneath this eagle. Excellent. We'll take this glass jar. Because what else, what other function could it have other than to be filled up with water? So why can't I jump into this? Okay. So it's not actually allowing me to fill it up. No. What, seriously? I thought that would be common sense. Although I do love that I touched fire. That's funny. Okay, so we've got to go upstairs to this new area here, and if we solve that one, I think we've solved the game. We've solved the mystery of the abduction. Yeah, East Wing. It's locked, which we have a key for. Here's one I prepared earlier. What are we going to find in here? Another kind of pretty atmosphere. I actually take that back after listening to the atmosphere for literally longer than a second. This is horrible. It's a horrible place. I do not like it here. Okay, another little hiding spot for us. There's more drawers which have not given us a single good thing so far. Anything in here? A couple of things in here. There's a chest right over in this corner. I love the use of the word dirt for, hey, that's fire. You touched it and you burned yourself. I have not heard the word derp in so long. There's a book in there. Can we smash it open? I think we might need that book. Ooh, there's a note. The master, two of two. His servants have been making regular patrols. So it is only a matter of time before he finds me. Or at least the portal... At least the... Sorry, I've got acid reflux. At least the portal is safe. He will never find all of the pieces. He will never be able to return. Even if I die by his hand, at least I can know that the other world will be safe from his tyranny. The one from before... I didn't recognize him at first, I'd never met him in person, but perhaps he can serve as our salvation. He beat him once, perhaps a second time as well. He does not even know, perhaps it is better that way. I imagine that that is Daniel. I have a sneaky suspicion that we are actually playing as Daniel after the events of the of the first game. Ooh, got the saving artifact here. He was a traitor, he had to be killed. I will let nothing stand in my way. So many years have passed since I held you, my love, but I promise, soon I will be with you. That is Alexander of Brennenberg dialogue right there and has nothing to do with this mod. I can guarantee it. Yeah, there's nothing to break that open, unfortunately. Unless the bottle, maybe? Yep, that worked. And now we've got this big book. Why have we got this big book? I don't know, I can't read. Okay, come out here. Despite the cacophony of the damned, and we will start ransacking at our leisure. I'm going in here next. Weapons inwards. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. A couple of boxes in here. Don't particularly care about them. There is a bed. Oh, can we see what's up top? There is nothing up top. Good to know. Pick up that oil right there. Open up these drawers. Nothing. Tinder box. Sweet. So I don't know who was writing those notes, but. Oh, maybe it was actually Daniel after he'd beaten Alexander of Brandenburg. Maybe that's what he's referring to. Because he did give himself amnesia so he could forget all about his crimes and stop Alexander in the first place. Drinking the, uh, the rose something solution. Anything in here? Tinderbox? Nice. I see one in there too! Be still my beating heart. Uh, can I have it please? 
All right, I'll just take it. Very nice. So I'll come all the way down here. This looks like a good place for a chase, doesn't it? Ah, tinderbox, nice. Oh, duh, fine. That is so unlucky. Oh, there he is. He's right outside. He is literally right outside this closet right here. Hello? He's still right there. I'm gonna take a quick peek. Whoops. Oh my god, these doors are like almost open. Okay, he's still facing us. What is going on? He refuses to detect us. Oh, damn. Damn, Theo puts the ass in harassment, doesn't he? Come show off your slooty booty! Oop, oh, just his, his big dad gut. Ooh, he is literally right beside us. Oh, there's his booty. Little, little, little glimpse, little tease, little peek. Little inspection of the goods, so to speak. Man, that was a nasty rhyme. Maybe I missed my career as a rapper. I don't hear him. I think it's clear. I'm giving myself the all clear. Yeah, it's clear, it's clear, it's clear. Theo is long gone. Oh, would you look at that center box? Thank you. Okay, nothing in there. It's locked and will not open without a key. Yes. Okay, there is a locked door in the east wing. Find the key that opens it. I touch fire, it burned. Uh, need to mix bromine, mercury, and the blood of a twisted. I can open a portal to another realm. I should look for those three things. There is a hidden door somewhere in the atrium that can only be opened when items are placed on pedestals in front of the statues. Oh, right, yep, I know. This note reminds me of Alexander. Could he really be back? Where am I? This isn't Brennenberg. I must find some answers. This must B, Daniel. I think we've we've just confirmed it, right? Okay, so there's also a locked door in here. Right. Maybe. No, because we need a key, don't we? That's what we wrote in our journal. There's still an artifact down here. I'm going to save really quickly. And then we will back out and maybe we'll go and try our luck with another one of those areas. It's very well. Maybe the key is actually here, and I've just been really sloppy at looking. Like it, it could literally be anywhere. A single key. No, nope, not anywhere around here, though, is it? Oh, I forgot that we can move these paintings. Wow, the first one that I found. Penis, 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 penis. Okay, Thick Vice Theo is busting his way in here. Oh! I caught a glimpse of Bussy. Just a, a little sneak peek of some monstrous Bussy. My girlfriend hates that word, by the way. I know this is like a stressful time and I probably shouldn't be talking about it right this second. But, God, every time I say bussy, she just has this wave of anger that comes over her. It's so funny. I've started just using it to wind her up recently. I don't use it seriously, and I probably never will, but it's just so funny. Some people are so afraid of new words. Like me, I'm kind of afraid of new words. I'm partial to cap. Cap is fun to say. And also bussy. 
if it wasn't obvious by the uh, words that I just said right now on this recording and slash live stream. Theo? Oh no, he gone. Theo! I got my loud stomping boots on so you don't have to listen so hard. Find me. Theo? Come on, my darling, chase me. Okay, let's get in here with this key we just found. Yoink. Great! I'm gonna close this behind me, actually, because I am afraid. Uh, let's turn this bad boy on and we'll start scanning these bookshelves for the secret that I know is hidden on these bookshelves. All I need is a little hand icon to, to just kind of see me through, to tide me over, to allow me the, uh, or maybe it's behind this painting. <laughs> I think it fell off of its uh, hinges right there. All right. Oh, we can move that table. That's cool. The wall is very weak. Okay, could a book knock it down? Could a feather knock it down? <laughs> no. What about a book? No. We probably have to find something a bit sturdier, right? Like this whole piano, this entire piano. Maybe we can hug that at a wall? No, nothing. Okay, nothing here. I, yeah, okay, so... Positive reinforcement means 120 times is a positive reward for the average person, right? I have had one reward for scanning all of these bookshelves every single time I've come across them, which has been a lot of times in video games. And I'm still doing it. Why am I using the painting? Probably the lightest thing in the room, to be quite honest. Let's use this chair. Here we go, chair. Pull your weight. Excellent. Okay, we found another room, which is pretty nice. That's sus. That's super sus. Okay. Thanks for all the hand icons. Right, not on there. Not on there. Not on there. I learned this technique in Oblivion, by the way. Not on there. No controls there. It's got to be on one of these top two. Nope. Nothing there, unless it's one of these ones. No, it is not. One of these. Oh. Is it that one? No. Okay, it's kind of hard to get these top ones, actually. No, there is actually no secret book on there. But, look at this, we can make an absolute mess if we just do this enough. Which probably adequately makes me feel a little bit better about the fact that there was no rewards for scanning all of these books on this bookshelf! Alright, that's really going to piss uh, Thick Thighs Theo off. But, you know, I'm in the business of winding them up. Okay, nothing in there, nothing in there, nothing in there. Just a tinderbox. Why did we get into the... Oh, I see. You are taking the piss! There is something behind this bookshelf! There's got to be like a, a lever or something, right? One of these candles, maybe? Oh, please? One of the candles? There was a tinderbox in here. No, nothing. Okay, then. Okay, I think I may have actually just dicked myself out of whatever the answer was. What about under the desk? Excuse me, sir. Oh! Hey! Nice! They've got a panic button in here. That's real Gucci. I love that. Or oh, actually a little bit too bougie for me. Right. We're not getting attacked in here. We did just get a nice little piano sting. It's quite, quite nice. Theo! I'm ready for a chasing! I lied! I lied! I'm sorry! Is he coming this way? Yes, he is! <laughs> okay, we're gonna shut ourselves inside of here. Just temporarily. We'll open it a smidge so we can peek. Alright, there he is. There he is. The main man himself. I think we burst out and run past him, right? Come chase me! Chase me, Theo! I would like to be chased by your rum! Wait, seriously? That worked? I mean, I'll take it. <laughs> it's a freebie. <laughs> Pretty good, huh? Pretty good indeed. Nice! Theo is... Why is the music still going? Isn't this a safe space? I to tell. Is there another door over there? No, that's a cave -in. So, we have explored... Oh, that's sus. How do we open this? <laughs> that obviously looks like another door, doesn't it? 
Yeah, there's nothing over there. That, that's so obviously a door right there. Okay, uh, we got a blue glass shard, so we are now down to one red, aren't we? And I've got a sneaky suspicion it's probably going to be upstairs. We probably need to douse that flame with water. Annoyingly, we can't fill it up in this fountain, which is just stupid beyond measure. Here we go. Why? Okay, fine. All right, we did check down here, didn't we? This was uh, the cellar, wasn't it? I didn't see any liquids down in the cellar that we could necessarily use as a fire dowser, but we needs must. Okay, dining hall. So this is where we need to go. This one has the, the locked fireplace. Hidden door, yes. No says fire mix, bromine, mercury, and blood of the twisted. I can open a portal to the other realm. Blood of the twisted. We don't have any of those. I thought we picked one of them up. Mercury, maybe bromine. We didn't, apparently. We didn't pick anything up. Okay. Uh, what if we touch it again? Dirt, it's fire. What do you think would happen? Completely locked. So there's got to be a key here somewhere, and it could be literally anywhere. Apparently this is not a water source. Unless it is somewhere else. Unless it's just really hard to find. Can't use the item that way, right? Why, though? That, that's my question. Why can't I use it that way? How else am I going to douse a fire? Oh, there's got to be a simpler solution, right? Like, choke the, choke the fire out. Starve it of oxygen. I'll figure out a different way. There might actually be a different way. Unless it's as easy as uh, pick up a chair and kind of fish the chest out, which would be silly. But again, I wouldn't put it past it. Okay. Uh, let's get this kind of angled like this. And we'll kind of do this to wedge it open, I suppose. Or not. It flat out doesn't want to open like this. Oh, yes, it does. Oh, I hit it! I actually hit it! Okay, I'm gonna break the game. That's how I progress. We're going to use the laws of leverage to our advantage. Okay, we'll get this chair out and we'll poke it into the fire. And then we'll walk into it a little bit. Yes, 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 yes. Yas queen, yas queen, yas queen, yas queen, I see it! Ah, oh, damn it! I'm gonna try and sprint into the chair to try and like wedge it up further which is kind of working but at the same time it's also not it's got to be like on one of these chairs or by one of these chairs or something like that surely So we've tried everything now. We've literally tried everything, short of these uh, candlesticks here, and short of smashing these pots, which we couldn't do. We tried. We did try. Wait, are these... Are these firmly attached to the ceiling? They kind of are. I can't... I can't jiggle them out of place. Ah. Yeah, they, they don't move! They're literally hanging off of that pivot in the ceiling. That's so weird. Okay, I wonder why they chose to do that. These don't move. These are literally welded in place up there, which is just frustrating, honestly. Probably move them with a box. The boxes seem to break the, um, the physics thresholds. Oh, that one moved. Okay, there's one. Oh, they're not actually welded to the, to the ceiling. My mistake! Okay, let's come under here with a box and we'll just try and loosen all of these. 
Yep, I'm doing a Half-Life style. Here we go. What? What? Why am I being raided? Do I just have to bait the guy into breaking the door down for us? I'm in here! Hey, dickhead! Come break this down! I dare you! Hey! Big thighs, Theo! I hear you on the other side of there! Open this door! We're gonna knock this door down with Theo's brute force, whether he likes it or not. I'm making so much noise! Come and eat me! Come and eat me! I beg you! Theo! Oh my god. What do these beams do? Did it just confuse him? Is he above us? What the hell is going on? I've literally broken the game! ready! Come and get your meat! Theo! You dumbass! No? You're not interested? Beat this door down! I'm actually getting a little bit frustrated by this. Open the door! I'm literally being driven insane by this. Oh, this game's testing my patience. I am usually a very patient man, but for some reason, I feel like this game's broken. I don't know. Like, the game appears to be fucked. Like, completely fucked. I don't know if there was a patch or something that kind of made this a bit easier to stomach, but it's completely fucked. <laughs> they would have added a crowbar of some sort to allow us to kind of wedge it open ourselves, but there aren't any crowbars in this entire area. We've already scaled the place about six or seven times. Blocked from the other side doesn't make any f***ing sense either. Because we've already gone into a room that has been blocked from the other side. It was easy as hell. There's no crowbar anywhere. It's not like hanging on a set of lights. It's not hanging on a candle. It's not hanging on a brazier. So I think we're um we're just hard locked out of the story. I, I think the um I think the last build just f***ed this entire mod. There's no crowbar in here at all whatsoever. We've looked a thousand times already for a crowbar. There just aren't any. There's none under these boxes. There's none under the barrels. We've already looked. There's none around here. And there's none between these pallets. I know this because I looked for like five flat minutes. There's nothing here. There's there's no tools or anything around. Thank you everybody so much. Everybody who turned up. Um, you're all the best. Literally all the best. Even the lurkers. And I will uh, probably see you guys tomorrow. It's got to be said. I'll probably see you guys tomorrow. I'm probably going to finish all of these custom stories tomorrow, regardless of how I feel about them right now. And I will upload the final product to YouTube because, honestly, no one wants to watch somebody flounder around for so long without actually beating the experience. Bye, everybody. Hope you had a great time. I had a great time. Yelling and swearing. Another day, another method. Uh, I'm going straight back into the game. I rage quit last night. I'm really, really sorry about that. I made a terrible lapse in my uh, judgment, a, a terrible continuous lapse. And now that I've said the magic words and you've all forgiven me, let's move on with the game. So, we were kind of getting really frustrated in the storeroom here, weren't we? Yes, we most certainly were. I actually know how to get out of here. I went and I watched PewDiePie play this in his frustratingly short eight minute segments and i have figured out what we need to do yep completely empty nothing in there you have got to be taking the piss oh my god i was just about to give up and leave it was here the whole time <sighs> That is infuriating. Okay, I think we actually have enough to finish this mod now, right? It still took an additional 12 minutes of searching after I already figured out where the thing was. God, that sucks.
Okay, so I don't know what to do with, the, with this crowbar, but I imagine that we use it to leverage open one of the three doors that are in the storage, which is through this dining hall. And I know this map quite well now because I have uh, spent a long time in this area. Like, way longer than I'd care to mention. All right, off to the storage. I'm gonna make a mad dash towards anything that seems stuck. And it may trigger the spawn of an enemy, but that is the price you have to pay for progress. Or is blocked from the other side? How would this help? It would not. Okay. And through here? Anything through here? Uh, that one is completely open. This one is locked and will not open without a key. How about a crowbar? Nope. There's one more of these doors right here to open. It's this one. Oh! Yes. The crowbar broken is of no further use. I was fairly certain that we broke that door, but I could be wrong. All right, so there should be like a key or something in this location. There it is. It's actually very easy to find. I picked up the storage key. Great. Is there any oil in here? Because we are in a desperate place for a little bit of that black gold. Not my words. I think that's uh, Iraq words. Okay. Nothing in there for us. Doesn't really look like there's anything over here for us as, as well. Like, we could probably look in every single one of these pots, but why would I bother? I don't think there's anything here. Like, there's no consumables. Anything, please? No! Oh, we're still in a really bad place then. Okay. Well, that's fine. I'll just leap into the darkness over here. Now, we do have a key. I imagine that the key is going to be for this. It's locked and will not open without a key. Wonderful. Hello? Hello? DoorDash? Anyone order a DoorDash? What's in here? Uh, boxes. Excellent. Maybe they are concealing some lantern oil, which I am still desperate for. Please! Anything in these cubbies? No, there's nothing in those cubbies. There's one of those skull doors there, so we need to keep an eye out for uh, one of those levers that we already discovered in an earlier playthrough opens the doors. Anything between these? Wait, what did we get in here? We got nothing! There was nothing in here! Is there anything we can open? Maybe. Uh, we don't have the crowbar anymore, so that's not going to be helpful to us. Aha! There is a switch right there that we can jam a lever into. Which is absolutely fine. So, we're looking for a switch at this point. I uh, can't really see what's in here. That's just meat. Anything past the meat? No. Or it could be coal, honestly. I don't know. Pretty chilly down here. Wouldn't surprise me if it is cold. Okay, nothing here. Nothing between these pallets, I don't think. So, this storage room is a storage room for the sake of storage, which is, um... Just fine, actually. It's, it's, it's fine. Oh, I'll tell you what. I actually think that the, uh, the stream is set to unlisted again. Yep. Thanks, YouTube. I don't know why they default to that. Uh, public. Here we go. Excellent. Oh, that's so frustrating. Um, I watched Penguin Zero's first stream on YouTube after like a decade of, of streaming on Twitch. And... Honestly, the complaints that he has, I also have. Uh, YouTube is very, very frustrating to, to stream on. On account of all of the weird, crappy little quirks that YouTube streams have. For example, every time I set a public stream, it defaults the stream to unlisted or private. Which I then have to change. I don't know if it's a bug, I don't know if it's intended, but it's absolutely infuriating. Uh, we found that handle. Uh, we also found a bunch of hogs. We could probably spank these hogs, but... Don't really think that's completely necessary. Right, here we go. Coming back through. Anything under this pig? No. What about under this pig? No. Can we make these pigs uh, perhaps engage in some sort of thruple of some sort? Like, I think so. Here we go. Uh, yep, that's thruple worthy to me. I don't know what the hell is going on with this leg right there. Strange. All right, we'll take this lever. 
and we'll jam it into its receptacle that we uh, know the location of. Oh, I really want to see what's... Never mind, there's nothing past there. So there's literally only one thing to do in this area. There's no oil, there's no puzzles, there's no nothing. It's literally just find this lever, jam it into the socket. Also, congratulations on finding the crowbar way off at the other side of the map. Right, there we go. We're in. We're in. Oh, that's not good. Oh, it's fine. We've got a lever on this side as well. So, we're probably trapped in here. There's a tinderbox that's absolutely useless to us. Unless there's something right next to the switch that we light. Yeah, okay. How about this? We'll light that so that we can see the switch before we need to use it, if we need to use it. Still not seeing it. I see a bucket. I found a wooden bucket. Right, so, now begins the order of operations that we already knew we had to do. Oh, piss! I'm hiding! I'm hiding here! Ooh, Thick Thighs Theo is still in good form. Is he coming in though? I think we're just gonna have to start blowing in the corner a little bit better than we were. Oh, okay! He's very close. Let's hope he doesn't witness us. Oh, I think he's giving up now. Oh yeah, he's definitely giving up. Uh, but what are you doing? Why do you need to knock that down? But very good test comment. Thank you very much, Scott's World. Welcome to the stream. I'm sorry, but YouTube set the stream to unlisted again without my consent. Very, very annoying. Uh, we've got Thick Thighs Theo inside of the storeroom here with us. We are one with the barrel, of course. Blair Witching in the corner, and unfortunately, he's busted down the door he just walked through. So now we know we've got some lore. We know that he's not only capable of busting down the door, but he's also capable of opening the door, and he chose to bust it down after he opened it. Dude, what are you doing? Go home. I'm getting a good glimpse of his butt cheeks. Bro! <laughs> I think he might be on the piss. Theo? Six size Theo versus Dr. Wang would be an epic fight. That would not be a fight, my dude, and I'm pretty sure it'd get age restricted real fast. What do we do? Do we just like, um. We could probably pick up a, a box, huck it at him, and then just run past. But I think he's. I think he's trying to bust down the rest of the door, which he's just incapable of doing at this point. Oh no, he spotted us. That's okay, it's fine. Come and get me! <laughs> he can't do a single thing. You know why? Because he's an idiot. But what do we do? Actually, this is a uh, not ideal. Maybe we could bait him sideways. God, the mouse acceleration is engaged. Oh no! I've fallen unconscious-ish! Where is he? There he is. He's coming over. He's coming over! Good, now that he's gonna be wedged on those crates, I think we can just dash out this door right here without any kind of repercussion. Okay, I'm going for it. I'm running! <laughs> Bye, Theo! You absolute moron! <laughs> Eat my dust! <laughs> oh, my days! So far, how would you rank the Amnesia Custom stories you've played? Uh, well, the first one has to be the top one because it's the first one I've finished. Uh, but definitely, the second one is a very, very close first equal. The, uh, actually, the first one was shorter, right? This one, Abduction, I feel is much longer and therefore much more could go wrong with it as has gone wrong with it. I've spent about an hour and a half raging because I couldn't find this goddamn crowbar so I could find this goddamn bucket of water to do something that was really obvious to do. There we go, we filled the bucket of water. So here's the thing, we already had a bucket. We're gonna just fill this with water. I mean, including Necrolog. Oh, that's true actually. 
Again, Necrologue had a, a, a much longer playtime as well, and therefore much more could go wrong with it. I feel like all of the games that I have played so far have been kind of different in execution, but at the same time, the ratio of things that went wrong uh, to playtime has been very similar. Splush! There we go. Okay, we're no longer burning ourselves. We've got this red glass shard, and we're about to find the ending through the hidden door that we already spotted. Like, they're all pretty good. They're all actually very, very good games. The fact that this was somebody's first custom mod as well is actually very impressive. Because I was going around some forums last night trying to figure out where the crowbar is, only to find that literally I was the only person, person to have asked this question. Uh, where do we put it? Over there. And I, I learned a bit more about this mod than I in, intended to. Boop. There we go. So I imagine this is now going to... That's right, we have to harm ourselves. Oh, of course! It's exactly where we thought it was! Who'd have guessed? I quite like this one, it's Puzzle Concepts, is my favourite out of the series. You know what, I'm actually inclined to agree with you. This one does have exceptional puzzles. The only thing I haven't liked about it so far is its jank-ass placement of uh, essential items. There's gonna be a water monster down here, isn't there? Or not? Really? That's surprising. So we can lift up that box. I don't know if it's useful in any way, shape, or form, but we can do it. Boing! Because we can just make that jump as well. What's in here? Chemical storage. It's locked and will not open without a key. We do have a hammer and chisel. We could probably try that. Nope. What about this hollow needle? Nope. Can we fill the bucket back up with water? That's my next question. No. No object to use it on. Apparently this water is invalid liquid. Oh well. Monty has abandoned me? Good! I'm not- I'm not fond of when Monty's close. He's a bit of an ass. I can be quite blunt. Okay, I thought there'd be a key maybe off in the- off in the water somewhere, but it doesn't seem like that's the case. But we'll go into this laboratory. Laboratory. Try and find Dexter. Or his simple sister Dee Dee. What's in here? A lot of blood on the ground. Still can't really use our lamp. Oh, a pile of corpses. Delightful! Maybe there's some oil and what? Oh, thank the Lord! Oh! We can use light! Okay, hopefully there's another one of these around the place, but I wouldn't be too surprised if there is not, to be quite honest. So I imagine the key is probably going to be somewhere in that body pile, otherwise there wouldn't have been oil here in the first place. Or maybe not? Just a bunch of naked men canoodling. Oh, tinderbox. Is. Tinderboxes. Nice! Oh, hello! Where did you come from, friend? I'll just go around you. Very nice. And now we're going in here. Oil, please! It's like, it's like papers, please, but now we're really desperate for a bit of oil. Is that a chest? No, it's not. It's worthless. Anything amongst the barrels? There is not. Okay. So, we're in a pretty... Oh, yes! Oil! Oh, yes! Laudanum! Awesome. So now we can enable our drug habit. Our nasty, nasty drug habit. Can we use this? Nope. What about any of these boxes? Are they concealing any goodies? Probably not. Probably not. No, they are not. Okay. So what were your thoughts on Nightmare House overall? It's aged really well, honestly. Um, the spooks really got me. I loved it. I don't have any thoughts about the story because I have no idea if there was anything to have gleaned from a half an hour uh, Half-Life 2 mod. But it was really good. Um, I'm really excited for the Half-Life, uh, for the Nightmare House 2 series that's coming up soon. Okay, we've got another note here. Don't know what's going to be contained in it as is this desk, but now we know. Get rid of this pesky chair. Great. Plan B. Blast! Those damn rats broke my last bottle of mercury. I knew I should have figured out a poison for them. Well, mercury is a heavy metal and thus a poison. Fortunately for me, however, due to advances in modern technology, I can smelt a chunk of cinnabar into the mercury I need. All I need to do is place it in a hot enough fire and the sulfur will separate on its own. I should be careful though. Extracting the mercury will produce enough sulfide gas to knock me out cold if not vented properly. 
There should be some cinnabar in the mine adjacent to the chemical storage room. It always seemed like an odd place for a mine, but I guess the mine goes where the ore is, not the other way around. That is 100% true. This guy's spitting hot fire. The first game has no story at all, but the second is quite an interesting story. I'm excited to see it. I'm excited to see the justification for uh, for the game. It, w it was very good. Wait, why is there a strange light behind here? Is this a false panel? Can we move this? No, it's, it's fine. Uh, let's fill up our lantern once more. Uh, we're pretty much done with this room though, I think. Assuming we looked in here. Yeah, we definitely looked in there. So we'll come out of here. And now we will follow the trail of blood all the way up. Hello? That sounded like a scary spooky monster. Oh, that is a scary spooky monster, isn't it? Can I open this up? And you know what? I think one with the barrel should be the technique we go for. One with the barrel. Uh, we'll keep that there in case we need it. But otherwise, we'll just kind of walk around and loot. Take that chemical storage key. Very nice, very cash money. All right, what's in here? Just more barrels, wonderful. I don't really want to make a huge mess because it'll make a huge noise. And unfortunately, we don't have the luxury of making huge noises at this juncture. What we do have is the ability to put this glass jar right here, I think. Right here? No, I should get the blood first. Uh, okay, needle on my heart? No, needle on my brain? No. I can't do a Fran bow? Jar anywhere? No? Okay. I do hear him. I think it, I think it's Dimwit Daryl. I think Dimwit Daryl is patrolling the halls. Okay, we're gnashing our teeth alarmingly hard. It's gotta be down here, right? It's around this corner. I see nothing. I see here nothing. What was that? Hello? Daryl? You didn't just harm yourself, did you? You klutz. Such a dumb one. Is he locked up? I'm gonna do a pee. Okay, it doesn't really look like anyone's in here. he's lying on that table right there. Okay, I'm gonna do a crouch. That arm! Perhaps I can extract the blood- ah! Cheap! Cheap! Okay, I think we're alone, actually. I think these were the things moaning. Oh, fifth face Theo! He's been uh, drawn and quartered. That's not good. This sucks, actually. Uh, let's get this needle out and... Nope, apparently we can't use it there. Can we use it on the arm? No, apparently there's no object to use it on. You just talked about this thing's arm, didn't you? What about this one? No object to use it on. Did I get it right? Can I use the item this way? Okay, can I use it on his jubblies? No. Do I mix this with the glass jar? No. Do I mix it with the bucket? No. Do I... Do I use it on his face? No. This is the right answer, isn't it? I'm supposed to be using it on Thick Thighs Theo right here? Didn't I just say I need to take the blood from it? Blood of a twister, I can open a portal to another realm. I should look for three things. Okay, what if we put the glass jar down first as kind of like a, a conduit to catch? No, apparently not. Okay, we must have something else, right? What's in here? Pain, pain and suffering is in there. But also some excellent music. Okay. I'm not seeing a hell of a lot that we can do, right? Okay. What have we got? We have a hammer and chisel. We can't use this, I don't think. That wouldn't make any sense. I can't chisel any of this crap either. We don't need, like, one of those copper spouts, do we? To put the needle on? To, to drain the blood? Because I'm pretty sure we did in the base game. Good. We got a sanity potion. Can't wait to not drink that. Okay, I'm leaving. I would not like to be attacked on my way out. Thank you. Okay, let's take a look around here because we might run out of oil before we find this thing we need. Where could we 
possibly be putting it. Nope, not in there. It is like a copper tube we need, right? That's the thing we needed in the base game, so I think it's the thing we need now. Okay, good. I do hear some some grizzling and some moaning. And we looked in here, didn't we? I'm pretty sure we looked in here. It's the corner, okay. Nothing over in this corner either. Gotcha! What was in here? Storage room, right? Where else would a copper rod be? What if we just make a huge mess in here? You think Dimwit Daryl's gonna have words to say? I don't think so. He's an oak. <laughs> okay, we've made a bit of a mess on this side, but that's fine. Nothing over here. Can I jump on this? Yes, very helpful. I'm not saying a lot. So what day this week are you planning on trying out Deltarune? Ah, uh, probably after I finish these two custom stories, to be quite honest. I don't know what day that is, because I don't know how long it's going to take to finish these stories. But I will aim for this week, if I can. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. So we've hit another wall, it seems. We've hit another wall of progress. I think we just need to jam this needle into every single part of the... Uh, thick thighs Theo dead guys at the end here. Apparently we're very insane. It's not good. Uh, let's light this up so we can see what we're doing. Right, so... There's nothing to use the jar on, is there? And it's not like we have to use it on anything specific either. Is there like a... We don't use it on this, do we? That wouldn't make any sense. Why would we? Why would we need to use it on this? Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Okay. What if we just put this anywhere? Is there anywhere to drain to? I don't really see anywhere to drain to. And there was supposed to be a rat full of mercury too, isn't there? So what day this week are you planning to try out you're planning to try a Delta Rune? I have no idea, man. Um I usually can't kind of organize the streams any further in advance than a day, because my days are pretty busy when I have days. When I have days that I have to be away from the office. So... Hard to jam this in here. But, if you do miss it, there will be a VOD going up on YouTube. Very curated, much like the ones that I've been putting out recently. Well, I don't know if actually they've gone out recently. I think I'm still uploading the first one. That was the answer, right? We were supposed to be using the needle on this thing to drain it with blood. Or do we need, like, a bucket of blood? Damn, a question so nice it's been answered twice. Yep. It happens. It happens. Oh, we've also got a key. Chemical storage key. Right. I've got a sneaky suspicion that we have to go into the other section of this map then. Because we have tried draining Theo like some kind of um, male fantasy. And it's just it's just not been working. It's not been working. So I, I think maybe we try our chances over on the other side of this area. In here, in the sewers. We cross the sewers. We cross the sewers, and then we get ourselves out of dodge. Did we try up what was up here? What is this? Atrium Andron. Ah. I need to make the portal potion before moving on. Okay. I have no idea what that means or what that's even referring to, but I suppose we'll figure it out soon. It's locked and will not open without a key. We have one. How about this one? Will this do it? That did it. Nice. Nice! A lot of frame drop just then. That's very concerning. God, I can't see anything. Hello? I take back what I just said. This area is actually quite well illuminated when it is. In the box, very nice. Okay. Take that. Look around all these shelves. I'm being very thorough. I found another key. A mine key! Well, it is mine now, isn't it? Like that. And then we'll go back into the darkness. I believe in a thing called love. Just listen to the rhythm of my heart. Okay, we'll pick these up. And we'll open these. Nothing. Any buttons? No. Just a note. Eight-legged freaks. Spiders. So many spiders. 
The mine is crawling with them. I'm not going in there. I don't like spiders. Nope. Not one bit. They can have it. I don't care. I have what I need from the mine anyway. I just hope I don't run out of mercury. The little bastards are resilient too. No matter how many times I throw a massive rock on them, they just keep going. There certainly aren't anything like the spiders from my former realm. Spiders actually died when you crush them. Oh, how I miss my former world. I hope I will see it again someday. It's funny that they talk about spiders in such a way because my little sister uh, just a couple of days ago has moved from New Zealand to Australia. And in Australia, it's uh, quite a popular cultural thing to look underneath your toilet seat every time you go to sit down on the loo in case there are spiders. Sitting beneath... Oh! Oh, hello! Uh, sir? I don't suppose you could tell me where this door has gone because I am a little bit lost. I feel like the door has gone missing. There it is! Uh... Okay. Am I crazy? Am I going mad? The number of reference? The spiders? Yeah, I definitely think so. Okay, got another one here. Maybe if we just, like, leave the this guy alone. Oh, it's getting shorter, I think. And I think so am I. Okay, we're actually about to be crushed. Okay, definitely not one. Oh, hello, Jesus. I'm leaving now. Good. Good. We showed him. Oh, hello. This oh, no. Forgive me. No. Oh, no. I know exactly what we have to do. We have to get into the middle of this, right? Hello. Hello, Thick Thighs Theos. All right. I think we're fine. I think we're absolutely fine. Ah, yes. This is the way. We have to go this way. So what's in here? Ooh, there's a bunch of FA. Absolutely dick diddly. There's a bunch of potions. A bunch of these things. They don't smash annoyingly. Found a sanity potion, that's nice. Anything behind the bottles? Not usually. I probably don't need our lamp on in here, to be quite honest. Uh, need our eyes to adjust? Yep, very good. Still not really seeing anything hidden behind these bot bots. No, definitely not anything. I I think this room is a bust. I don't think there's anything in here. I think it's just a, an absolute waste of our time and resources to be in there. Ah, another elongated hallway. I can't wait to... Oh my god! Oh! <clears throat> I'm going to take a break in this little side room here. Ooh, what's this? Bromine. Yes. Yes, bromine. That's one of the uh, three chemicals we needed. Is that the only thing in here? If there is anything else, I will find it. Oh, we're out of oil. No, we're not. Excellent. Now we are out of oil. Uh, we're not looking so hot, actually. We've got some really, really bad oil. Oil reserves. Okay, we'll push on through here. And we'll see what else that there is. Maybe we should have checked the rest of the uh, place we just came from for resources before we came so far this way. Mine entrance! Great! I think we're about to find some yucky spiders. What is this? Pri primarium? Primaria. Primaria. Primer Primaria oodle? Nope, can't collect it with, with that. Maybe... Nope. A large vat of an unknown chemical. Yes, if I leave it alone. Or you could take some. Can I use this item this way? Yup. Thank you for the drugs. Okay, just a bunch of primary crap that we can't interact with annoyingly. Oh, tinderbox. Nice. Let's make a bit of a mess. Just because it's, uh, it's satisfying and I like doing it. Oh, that is nice. Whoever's going to have to clean that up. I don't. I feel bad for them. I feel really bad for them. What's in here? This is another storeroom of, of chemistry. In fact, nothing that we can use. Does this just go in a big circle? What's in here? Oh, we haven't been in here. Tinderbox, nice. Anything else? Tinderbox, nice. Oh, oil. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. So this door was blocked. I imagine this is at the opposite end of the hallway that we kind of saw when we first got into this area right here. Kind of. It kind of is. Yeah, it definitely is. 
So there's one more door just over here. So we found two other places to go and explore. One is a hatch, and the other one is the mine itself, the mine proper. Good, we've got some uh, laudanum and a couple of tinderboxes in here. Don't even know why I'm picking up the tinderboxes. I haven't used a single one of them. I don't think there's any resources on those shelves right there. Okay, we're done with this first little region, so let's go back. Wait, why can't I interact with this? This is so obviously something to... Hello? Okay. No? Okay. Alright. We're off. We're gonna go back off. We're gonna uh, go all the way back. We're gonna go into the mine shaft. Where there may or may not be spiders. We've got the mine key right here. Boom. I don't like spiders. Like, I understand the necessity for them in our ecosystem. Oh, the hatch is an exit from where we're going. That's fine. Anything in here? Any oil, maybe? No. No. No, there's a note there. I'll get to it after I loot this chest. Oil! Yes. Oil is a valuable resource. Gotta be said. Okay, what's on this note? Directions! This mine is a terribly confusing maze. It is hard to maintain one's bearings when travelling through it, since everything looks so alike. For this reason, I have noted the location of the cinnabar vein and taken the steps to reach it, followed by the route to the escape hatch, if necessary. The cinnabar vein is characterised by a grey rock surrounding it, in contrast to the brown rock all throughout the mine. The path is as follows. Left, right, left, go until you find the ore. Oh no. Uh, we, we've got this note, right? We, we can keep it. Right, wait, was that right? I don't remember. Oh no. Well, if it's up here, they certainly would have found their way out, right? So left, right, left, and then we just go straight. Left, right, left, straight. Left, right, right left, straight. Left, right, left, straight. Ah, uh, the Dark Descent. I understand the reference. Left, right, left, straight. Left, right, left, straight. What the hell? Why am I... Am I being attacked? Left? Right? Or do we just follow the lights? No, we just... Oh, what? Spiders? There are actually spiders in here? Uh, we don't have a pickaxe, though, annoyingly. We've got a hammer and chisel. Maybe this will do. I've taken a chunk of ore and put it in my bag. Okay, do a 180. Let's check our notes. The last one that we read, hopefully. Okay. Then 180 degrees and follow the next steps. Okay. Left, left, straight, right, straight. Left, left, straight, right, straight, right. Left, okay. We'll just do it in threes, I think. Left, left, straight. Oh, no. That's not good. Left. I've already forgotten it. No! Pull it out, you idiot! Left. Straight. There is no straight. Straight. Up. Oh, you assume this is straight. And then right. No! I'm being attacked! I'm actually being attacked. No! I'm stuck! Left, right, left, straight. Okay. And I'm just going to go this way. And I'm going to hopefully go this way as well. Uh, that was not promising. I just saw something move in the shadows. I think if we just, like gap it through here, right? We'll eventually come across the... the escape hatch. Maybe this way? Always hug the left. If you're in a maze, we're at the cinema. Okay, so, notes. Left. No. Left, left, straight. Gotcha. Ow. Left. Left. And then straight. I assume this is straight. And then... Oh, do we already miss a, a step? Straight, right, straight, follow the long pathway, then make a right. Okay. Follow the long pathway. Uh, we're stuck. Make, make a right. I am being uh, crippled by spiders, it seems. And then follow, make another right. What was it? And then follow the long pathway until you find the escape hatch. Nope, we're lost. Okay, I think we're actually pretty close to the cinnabar, which we are. Very nice. No spiders. So, left, left, I think I've already turned into the wrong place. Follow the long hallway, notes, straight, then right, then straight, follow the long pathway, make a right, right, we follow the long hallway, we actually just got turned around, right, this is a dead end, it doesn't appear that there are actually any spiders, yeah, we made a wrong turn, I think. I assume this is the straight. Why am I still being hit? 
I follow the long pathway, then make a, a right. I assume this is the way. Make a right. Okay, this actually looks pretty natural, doesn't it? Ow! For the love of God, stop beating me upside the head! Uh, I think we lost again. I think we had to turn into the path that we just ran past. Why am I being hit? There is literally no spider here. They're supposed to fear the lantern, aren't they? Okay, and I'm gonna make a right. Because that's what the note said. The note said to make a right and look for the escape hatch. Nothing. Okay. The music just stopped. I thought we were out of dodge, but it appears as though that's not the case at all. I'm still getting really, really badly hurt. Uh, we should probably actually go into our inventory and take a bunch of laudanum. While we stumble around this mine like an absolute stupid oaf. Here we go. Get up the ladder! Okay, so there are no spiders. Were there ever any spiders? Or did we just trip over a bunch of things? Hard to tell. Okay, at this point, we're probably going to get raided by either Thick Thighs Theo or Dimwit Daryl. Who blocked this? It's not very cash money of you. Okay, we'll come out of here. And I think we just leave. I think the answer is to leave. I think I think we I think we've got everything that we need. We leave. Right! I have the bromine and the mercury. Now I need to get the blood, and I should be set. Okay. Should get the blood. From where? Though, that's the thing. <laughs> ah, sneeze. Okay, so we need blood, and I'm not entirely sure where we're supposed to harvest any of this delicious red gooey blood from. We went in here, didn't we? Yeah, this is that long-ass hallway, isn't it? Yep. What's in here? It is a chemical storeroom. So, the only place that I can think of to get the blood from is actually in that area with the two dissected thick thigh theos. Okay, what's in here? We already went in here, didn't we? Yeah, we've been in here. We've been in here. There was nothing for us except for doom and disappointment. Who blocked this? Didn't I just come in here? I'm certain I did. And we looked in here as well, didn't we? I thought that we'd have to use that um, needle with some kind of copper piping, but it seems as though that's not the case at all. So what do we have? We've got... We've got bromine. We've got a chunk of cinnabar. Do we mix it together? No. We probably need to go and find that lab now, don't we? Which may have been in here. It may not have been in here. I'm going to have to be quite sparing with the lamp, annoyingly enough, as well. Every time we step out of the light, we're going to have to step into the lamp. That is the mine entrance. Screw that place! That is nightmare land. We are never going in there again, I don't think. Our days of prenumbering are uh, completely over. There's no little doohickey in here to allow us to vivisect any blood no absolutely not okay there's a door we haven't opened here which may not be true it seems like every time we leave a cell it kind of resets everything which makes sense actually if this was made for a much older system i doubt the system would be able to keep up with the kind of memory that this game requires all right what's in here there's two doors. This one is full of garbage. I thought those forceps were something we need. It's not. There's nothing in here. Okay. Last room to check. No, there's nothing in here. So the lab is probably on the other side of the sewers, isn't it? It's got to be. Right, wouldn't be too surprised if the water monster's back now. Doesn't appear to be the case, which is quite nice. But it will be eventually, I think. I think it will eventually be back. Okay, what's in here? Laboratory! This seems a lot more promising to have uh, laboratory equipment in it. Okay, nothing through here. We have to go quite far into the main thoroughfare to find the lab in the first place, don't we? Okay, is it in here, maybe? Yes! This is exactly where it is. Oh, 
All right. So, do we need to put anything into there? No. What about this bromine? No. None of that. Okay, so we got to put the cinnabar in this thing, I bet. Because we, we need to distill it into mercury. And I'm not entirely sure if that's actually how this is going to work, but I'm hoping. I'm, I'm holding and hoping. Can't use the item this way. What? Seriously? Bucket? All right, what do I... What do I distill it into? Uh, we got to light one of these burners, don't we? Probably have to open up this gas valve here first. That would make the most sense. It's already on fire. That is really weird. Okay. What about here? Nope, can't stick it there. Righty-ho. So what else have we got? We've got bromine. Can we stick it in here? No, we cannot. That makes no sense at all. We can't use this machine here either. These are non-functional. There is a bunch of what looks like copper tubing right here, but we can't take it, annoyingly enough. Uh, we can't turn the Bunsen burner off either. Do we have to stick this maybe in here? No, we cannot. Glass jar maybe here? No. What about the glass jar possibly here again? No, we can't do that. Okay, so I think we actually need blood before we start this, which I'm pretty sure we would have gotten over here. We're out of oil again. A little bit of an upset. But this is well illuminated, so we probably have to mix two things together, don't we? <laughs> no, okay. Mm, bromine and needle? No. Bromine and glass, I think we tried this. Okay, bromine and bucket? No, none of that is functional. Uh, we do have two bottles of oil, but we don't really want to waste them necessarily. No project to use this on. What if, oh, what if we take this arm and we stick it into that what's -a doodle that uh, crushes things? I think it's called a crusher? Or a squeezer? I'll jam this arm into the squeezer. This thing right here. Boop. Oh, that's exactly the answer. Okay, good. So now we get this glass out. And now we start squeezing this arm for all it's worth. This is disgusting. And I'm pretty sure all of the blood would just come out of the end right there. Because it's the only natural hole. Okay, jar of blood. Do we stick it by this now? Maybe? Yes, we do. Let's put this lever down. <laughs> I don't know what this machine does, but... I'm gonna do something, I bet. Nothing? It is in there. Yes, it's definitely in there. Ooh, incomplete here. I'm one with the barrel. 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 I'm I'm one with the barrel. 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 I'm one of, I'm one with the barrel. There's a clipping texture right here. Ugh, dirty. I'm one with the barrel. I'm one with the barrel. I'm one with the barrel. It's right behind me, by the way. I'm one with the barrel. 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 Did I actually just solid snake box this guy? I think I legitimately might have. Okay, I think he's gone. Which is really, really good. Now we have to boil the serum, I imagine, and add bromine. Or bromide. What's the difference? Who knows? Bromine. Good. Now we've got JW's potion. I have no idea what that means. Honestly, guys, I think it might be one with the barrel. I was one with the barrel. I was one with the barrel. Did you not see what just happened? The events that just occurred? That is in which the thing that I am referring to, my dude. That worked. That function. Not as intended. I was actually expecting to get slammed in the back with a, a big one-shot sword, but not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. <laughs> okay, so what do we do with this? 
A potion for portal recruitment. Huzzah, not from Aperture Science. Well, I'm glad that they confirmed that. Because honestly, if there was another reference to Aperture Science, I would have, uh, quite frankly, just torn off my, my genitals. What a monster? No, what? <laughs> I thought it would come back. Okay, we've now got the potion. We've now got the, po the portal potion. And I think history is going to repeat itself. Ooh, that's pretty. That's really pretty, you know. Screenshot worthy, actually, I might say. Hello there, lovely bazingas. Hello there, ma'am. Lovely bazingas. What's going on? Lovely bazingas. Pardon me, ma'am. Lovely bazingas. Hello there, ma'am. Lovely, lovely bazingas you have on you. I'm gonna... I'm just gonna go. Yeah, you enjoy your bazingas. I don't know if I were a girl for a, for a day, I sure as hell would. What's in here? Bookshelves! And also, oil! Nice! Oh god, since I... Ah, oh, PewDiePie! Right, I watched his playthrough last night to figure out where that crowbar was, and now I can't unsee the whole Stefano thing. I can't unsee it. It's infectious. It's annoyingly infectious. Okay, we're moving down here. I'm gonna smash a couple of things. Move all of that. I say that's... I don't ignore it. I don't ignore it because PewDiePie actually does know his craft very well. Hello? 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 Oh! There's no barrel! I'm one with the jug. 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 I believe the word you're looking for is bazongas. Bazinga is a Big Bang Theory quote. Isn't it about Penny's Bazingas? That's 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 the Sheldon thing, right? Hey Penny! Hey Penny! Hey Penny! Nice Bazingas! Is he actually out here? I can't tell. I'm one with the jug. I was gonna say I'm one with the rope, but I've seen how that ended a bunch of times in this in this playthrough. Is he gone? Okay, Jug. You are going to have to defend me in case he is still there. Oh, what the hell? Are, are you talking about the Big Bang Theory? It's canon. It's written. Sheldon's just kind of like the creepy third wheel who's always trying to get into Penny's pants. Right? I mean, I've never actually seen Big Bang Theory, but... I imagine that's that's uh, kind of his vibe, right? It's kind of like a, a horror TV show. No, Bazinga just means Sheldon has made a joke. Well, I don't think he was joking when he said it to, to Penny's Bazingas. A brief history. There were five siblings in a time not long ago, born to the Duke of the Seventh Province. They grew up in a lavish home with every luxury they could imagine. Their lives were painless. They suffered no hardship, no tragedy, until their father passed on the day of the Three Gods Festival. That was as bad an omen as any. Their lives immediately fell apart, nine days after their father passed unexpectedly. Their home was struck by a terrible storm, ripping it to pieces, leaving the siblings homeless, unable to provide death for themselves, and they all eventually perished. Uh, this has got to be like a, a code, right? A codex? Uh, BD, no, that's definitely a title. Three gods, no. TT, U, T, G, no, T, no. That's probably supposed to be a capital. T in C K no. C K A B C K A B R C K Do I have to write this down? C K A B R C K A B R S D A S D A what the hell? A D S R adds, but no, this is just babble. Oh, there's supposed to be a W somewhere around here too, right? It's it, it's almost a um a jumbled up version of backwards. Is there a W? No. E A C K W A R D S. Yeah, so if there was a W, it would say backwards. Apparently, I picked up a tinderbox as well. I don't think that's true. 
Sheldon is not a creep, he's just weird. Now most of the other characters, that's debatable. I thought that was like the, the whole thing of the TV show, was like um, Sheldon's kind of descent into how he became a serial killer. Which is uh, coincidentally also the plot to Scream. All right, uh, I'm gonna look around here. Look around here for any goodies, or maybe a W. Can I get a W? <laughs> is that something that I can... Ah, oh, anything for a W right now, come on. <laughs> oh, that's fine. I think I actually cracked that one early. WGF, no. Come on. He's a serial killer. He's got to be a serial killer. He gives me serial killer vibes. All right, what's in here? We'll always go left first. Um, four podiums. What does this say? Let their fate guide you. Uh, okay. Why? Are you thinking of Dexter? Oh, yes, Dexter! God, I love that show. And his sister, um, Deborah. Yeah, that makes more sense. That makes way more sense. I actually just take a, took a look at this this room here and thought, nope. Yeah, when Dexter's got the knife and he's about to plunge it into the, the victim, right? He, he always says Bazinga. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, I'm talking a bunch of crap, by the way. <laughs> But picturing Dexter just like, Bazinga. <laughs> that, that tickles me in all the wrong places. <laughs> it's so funny. It's so funny to picture such a thing. Okay, it looks like we've got a 9x9 grid. One. Wow, I figured that one out fast. Uh, there's oil up here, thank the lord. And also two boxes right here. Four, five. Okay, so let's look at that note that we just found. Their lives immediately fell apart. Nine days after their father passed unexpectedly, their home was struck by a terrible storm, ripping it to pieces. Leaving the siblings homeless, unable to provide for themselves until they all eventually perished. This sucks. How many of them were there? Oh! Five, seven, three. Five, seven, three. Five, seven, three. Five, seven, three, nine. Five, seven, three, nine. Okay. Five... Oh, right, we have to put them on the podium. Gotcha. Five. We could probably just hug them all the way out. Oh, piss! 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 I've already forgotten the combination! It was five... Okay, let's take a look at it again and write it down so I don't get screwed over again. Five... Seven, uh, three, nine, three, nine, three, nine. Okay, that's the order that we have to stick those boxes on there. I can, I'm willing to bet money on that. Damn, Dexter Comedy has assaulted you. That's concerning. Dexter is actually a god tier TV show until you get to the last season where it's a bit, a bit lazy. It's getting a, um, a new one. Uh, very, very shortly. A new season of Dexter. Not the old blood, another one, aside from that, called. Uh, old, uh, old blood or something like that. It's supposed to be about his kind of like his first victims. All right, we need this one too. Move that over there, and we need three as well, which is this one here. I think we'll just leapfrog them, which is a payday two technique. Three and then a big old nine, which is right here. Leapfrogging's really good. All right, good. One, two, three, four. Hope, uh, hope that bastard doesn't attack us while we're. Tuck in these boxes. Yeah, the next uh, TV show of Dexter is supposed to be getting into the, the nitty gritty of his first few kills, but the whole point of the Darkly Dreaming Dexter books and the TV show was that you watched him unlearn psychopathy and then grow a conscience. Okay, the first one's five, so this one's first. And so I don't know how they're going to further create character development for Dexter if he's already kind of like shown you the journey from complete psychopathy to um, having an ounce of humanity. And this one right here. What, is this not wrong? Oh, backwards! Right, I think I already solved that one too. So this one goes over there, this one goes here, this one goes 
here. And that one goes there. If I'm doing too many mental gymnastics, uh, we looked at this note right here. Nope, that's mementos. We looked at this note right here, and uh, if you just spell all of these uh, capital letters that aren't supposed to be there, it says backwards. It's, it's like a jumbled anagram. It's an anagram of backwards. So I'm about to solve this. I'm very, very confident of that. There it is. Nice! All right, unsurprising though. Unsurprising that we solved that. You know, given the, uh, given the confidence that I had as I said I was solving it. Okay, good. Now I imagine there's a door up there that we can go through. Has this guy got a puzzle on his statue? No, but it sounds like he's taking a piss. What does that sound? Is he actually pissing? This is a terrible view. <laughs> Screenshot. Uh, I'll come through here. You're nearest to the end. Yeah, I had a, I had a little hunch. We still need a, a lever switch, which we have not found. If I am not mistaken, but I have been piss taken, I will find a lever up here. I'm not gonna lie. This, this, oh, piss, 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 piss. Which way? Which way? Which way? Oh, there he is. I'm one with the shadow. 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 There is literally nothing to protect me here. And all of these lamps are illuminated. Oh, piss! No, I'm running. I'm getting it. I'm getting out. I'm doing it. I'm doing it smart. I'm running off of here. I'm going to break my ankles in the process. I'm going to. Oh, oh, my God! I didn't think it actually followed me down! Who does that? Who actually just jumps off a bridge because their friend did it? Death. Okay. Thumbnail 100. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I already made a thumbnail for like custom stories, but I made it too atmospheric. I need something that's just like a little bit, a little bit silly. Now, the question is, is he going to return? I don't think so. I think they spawn once and then they basically just give you a free pass. Okay, so this is Sanity Potion. We haven't used a single one of those. That's the lever that we needed. Good, we've got some laudanum. I think there's something up there. No. Two tinder boxes just over here. And some oil! What is that? A plane? Is it a plane? Or is it legendary? No, it's definitely a plane. Okay, we'll get this here. Oil, please. Okay, good. And now we will fish around for more goodies. Wait, why am I bothering to fish around for more goodies if we're near to the end? No, I think... I think we just gap it. Balls to the wall. And in fact, actually, let's put the last of our oil inside of our lantern. We've been pretty sparing with it, so we now have one bottle... Uh, no! Oh, I broke my ankles. Oh, well, I did it. I made my bed, I lie on it. Let's put this handle right here. Ah, oh, it needs to go up, doesn't it? Chase scene? This looks like a, pl a good place for a chase scene. Oh, piss on this. Piss on this! Okay. Very sketchy. How about- Oh my god, this guy's got a puzzle! How about this for a thumbnail, eh? That's some- That's some terrible nightmare fuel. It's got- it got his little danger dangler hanging out. <coughs> Okay, we're here. Alexander is going to try and get back to his dimension and his, his beloved loved one. But we are not going to allow him to do so because uh, we are petty and spiteful. So we're going to take this JW's potion, whatever that means. It's not an acronym for anyone in the base game either. I have no idea what that could possibly mean. Hello, Daniel. Surprised to see me? Not particularly, no. I suppose you would be. You are ultimately the cause of my death after all. You look absolutely dumbfounded. Let me clear a few things for you. How did I return? What do you mean return? Oh my, you still don't know, do you? Uh, do you want to put some pants on, buddy? You are dead, Daniel. Yes, you heard correctly. You are dead. Accept it. Skip all stages of grief and go straight to the desirable one. You see, Daniel, when you die, your soul moves on to another realm. The trauma of death forces people to forget that they never died and that believe that they are where they belong. 
Few can overcome such memory loss. I was one who could! I died prematurely in my first life. I wished so much to return to my world and the one I love. I ended up in your world, and then I discovered the power of the orbs. And when I was just about to return home, you interfered. I had all but one Dragon Ball. You killed me, and I was then sent to this realm. You seem to have found your way here yourself. What is the last thing you remember? Being attacked by one of my former servants? Then my revenge is almost complete. You were so kind to open the portal for me, Daniel. I don't have to go through the trouble of doing so myself. Which would have been really easy, actually, to do. It only took a couple of hours. As such, I will not kill you. Well, not directly. I'm sure whatever creatures lurk in this realm would be more than happy to take care of it for me. Now I return home, and there is nothing you can do to stop me. <laughs> Good luck in whatever realm you end up in next. Good riddance, Daniel. Well, I hope whatever realm he ends up in next, he has some pets. I have to follow him. I will surely die if I don't. I must go through the portal. I should be able to climb the base. Uh, what base? Oh, I can jump on this. Weird. What do you mean by climb the base? Do you mean like, uh... Do you want me to jump off of here? This seems kind of high, don't you think? I... Oh, there's a ladder. Thank the Lord. Okay, we're going to get onto this ladder instead of doing the absolute stupid oath thing that we could have done, which was jump straight down. Are there any, like, goodies around here to find? I'm going to look anyway. I'm going to see if there's any goodies. I don't necessarily think that we are being chased by any kind of horror of some sort. But I definitely think that there might be something worth looking for around here. Like a nice comfortable couch or maybe like an Easter egg or... I don't know, another penumbra reference? Something like that? Nope, doesn't look like there's anything. That's it. First, I don't know many mod makers who would actively choose not to put secrets in their mods. Very unusual. Oh, I've scaled this place, it's clean. Clear! Nothing on these pillars, no, of course not. Okay, let's climb this thing. And that's kind of cool, actually. That's a good use of the ladder mechanic. I know that there's literally just like an invisible ladder in front of us here, but it's, it's clever that they did that. Oh no! Whoa, that was so lucky. I didn't realize we had to click on this, this portal right here. I accidentally threw us off. Oh, for God's sake. I made it. Together we made it. We made it even though I kind of broke both of my ankles. Okay. So this is like the next dimension, right? The next episode? Ba da 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 da. Is the one and only Daniel the OG? Okay, we'll come through here. I'm still ransacking for some stupid reason and I don't know why. Farewell, my dearest Helen. I'm about to embark on a journey that may very well be the most important journey in history. My work has shown me that in order that other worlds do exist and I can travel to them. Please understand, my darling, my curiosity is too great to withstand. I must see what the other worlds have to offer. Do not worry though, my love. I will return soon, and I will return bearing the knowledge of other realms. I will be able to use what I can learn from them to expedite our own world's technology by unimaginable amounts. I love you, Helen. I always have. I always will. Please understand. I will see you soon, my darling. Helen is supposed to be Agrippa's uh, main squeeze, right? His, um... Is Betty, for lack of a better term? Oh, he's gonna hate when he gets back to this world and all his books are all over the floor. What a penis, what an actual penis. Okay, we're moving on. We've read that touching letter. Good. Oh my God, hello, sorry. I'm, uh, I'm not doing it, I'm not doing it. I'm going through, I'm going through this way. What's this way? Hello, I'm going through this way. Uh, piss on that, whatever that was, I, uh, I piss on, oh! Ugh. Loot! 
please. Locked in. The servants and I, the head servant, have been locked in our quarters for three days now. The mistress has not even come to check on us, but she said that we were not to leave. I'm not sure what she is up to, but I fear for our safety and hers. Her grief over the loss of the master is taking control of her. It will not be long before she does something drastic. I only pray the master will return before that happens, or we very well may perish. That sucks. Uh, let's ransack this place, then, if no one's... Oh, did you look at that? Did a box. Can't wait to not use it. Okay, so... I don't know if that creature actually still exists. There it is. I'm one with the door. 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 I am 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 the door. I'm adorable. I am adorable. I'm adorable. I'm adorable. I'm adorable. I'm adorable. I'm adorable. I'm adorable! I am adorable! I am adorable! No! I am adorable! You can't do this to me! No! Piss off! Oh no, I shame myself in here! Piss <laughs> Darkness provides cover. There was no darkness! That room was too well illuminated. Thank you for the mansplanation though, game. Very cash money of you. Okay, so that thing just doesn't go away then, does it? Wait, what the hell is in here? Just a bunch of crap, it seems. Is it a sanity potion? No, Lord, and I'm even better. We can uh, enable our drug habit. A couple of tinder boxes that I doubt we can use. How many of these do we have? We have 49 tinder boxes. That is quite the number of tinder boxes. Probably excessive, one would say. So what was back here? Is this just the entrance? Uh, yeah, that is just the entrance. So I think that thing just keeps on spawning, right? So this is locked, I imagine. The foyer. Yeah, definitely locked. Alright, yeehoo! We went all the way that way and we died down there, so maybe we don't chance it that way again. We'll go in here next. Into this storage of books for some silly reason. Who stores books? Just read them and throw them in the fire. Alright, nothing in there. What's in here? There is actually less in here than there was in the other place. Nothing. Okay, good to know. What's in here? I tell! Darkness! A lot of darkness. Oh my god! Ah! Alright, what do we get if we jump all the way up here? Nothing. The satisfaction of having done the task. Okay, there's some oil here, which we literally just ran out of as we were talking about it. It's pretty good. So, looking around. I don't really see a lot in here that we could maybe ransack. Nothing in the bookshelves, I don't think. There's a couple of tinderboxes here. Again, we're not using them. What is that, 51 now? Yep, 51. We got 51 tinderboxes. That's infuriating. That is such a huge amount of tinderboxes. Oh, a couple of uh, delicate things over here. Wow, that thing was rubbery. There is a chest down in this little crevasse. Emphasis on ass in this crevasse. Uh, let's open it up. It's just oil. Okay, thanks, I guess. So there should be a key around here, right? Somewhere. Uh, there's a ritual dagger. Great. Honestly, I remember this one ending after the Alexander moment. Oh, it's okay. Maybe you're, uh, maybe you're just, um, a little bit too high on crack. Maybe your crack pipe needs a clean. Maybe, maybe you're inhaling some of the bad stuff in crack. Okay, we'll go in here. I, why have we got this dagger? The blade is somewhat dull, but still useful. Can we use it on ourselves? No. Can we use it on ourselves? No. Well, we did try. I imagine this is the foyer key because it said so in the item description. Okay, when did you play this mod, Scott's World? Because, gotta be said, there has been a huge amount of patches since uh, good old PewDiePie's playthrough. Back in like 2010? Maybe? I think this is when he played it? I don't know. It's been a long time since then. This is a completely new area! Huh. 
Uh, that's sketchy. I don't think we... What the hell is going on here? This place is so big. Oh, there's a photo of Alexander of Brandenburg. I miss you so. My love, why have you not returned to me? You said you would not be gone long. But almost a year has passed. How long must I endure this loneliness? Sometimes I think that you only left to get away from me. Is that true? I always tried to be a good wife, tried to show you the love I feel for you. And now you are gone, as is all of the wine. I can no longer drown my sorrows. I am miserable. Please, my love, come back to me. I played this one whenever Markiplier played it. Oh, I didn't know he played it. I had no idea. Got some more oil, very cash money. I imagine the mod maker probably continued development after the enormous success of this game on YouTube. If not for fame, then po probably people were supporting him in doing so. All right, there's not really anything in there other than some dialogue. What's this? A library! I've seen enough books. Uh, let's go back and see what the rest of the place has to offer. This place is enormous! Good grief! What about these front gates? We can't go out the front gates, which actually makes a lot of sense. What's up here? Master bedroom. We'll go in here. That doesn't sound like it should be big. Like 2012? Oh yeah, there's been a lot of updates since then. A lot of updates. Uh, we'll toss this chair over there for fun. And we'll ransack these drawers. Oh, a key. Nice. Helen's last words. Oh, Helen, that's right. Uh, that's Alexander of Brandenburg's wife. But she's not supposed to be in a Euclidean realm. She's supposed to be kind of like in a, in a different realm. So I'm, I'm not entirely sure what kind of story they're going off of here. But it's not the one from Amnesia the Dark Descent. I cannot wait any longer. My soul is empty. My heart weeps every day and the pain is simply too much to bear. I cannot live without you and it has been so long. I don't think that you are coming back. Was it something I did or said? Did you not love me? These questions burn in my mind constantly and make me feel guilty. You always had such curiosity. It's part of what makes me love you so much. Searching for knowledge not yet found by humanity. Inventing machines unlike any other in the world. Did you love the unknown more than me? It feels like it. You left me here to seek out your discoveries with no way to contact you. What if you're wrong? What if... No. I don't want to think about it. I cannot live with the pain any longer. I love you, Alexander of Brandenburg, or wherever you are. And if you are still alive somewhere, I will be awaiting you in the afterlife. With this note, I bid the word farewell. Goodbye. Helen. Great. Either that or we're in uh, John Wick's bedroom and she forgot her husband's name. Or maybe Alexander is actually John Wick's real name. Who knows? I know that his wife was Helen. John Wick's wife. In the box. Very nice. Who's playing this? Hello? Cease! <laughs> Cease! I don't know if it's copyrighted or not! <laughs> Something good old Markiplier didn't have to worry about in 2012. A closet. A couple of closets. Anything to loot? Uh, there's a shirt in there. Great. What about in here? Nothing. Why are there two closets in here? Is this just supposed to be like a walk-in? Like a Christopher walk-in? I think it is, actually. Okay, we've ransacked everything that there is to ransack. Put two chairs over there. Are we being haunted? Are we being hunted? What's going on? Okay, so through here was the... Uh, I think we actually just got a key for this room here. Ow, my face. Did we go in here? I'm sure we did. There must have been a note here. Yep, there was that photo of Alexander. Also a giant painting of Alexander. The same painting of Alexander. Library key. So this was the library, wasn't it? Yeah, that definitely is the library. That music is genuinely terrifying. It gives me chills. Regarding the guest room. The guest room has been sealed off due to a, well, accident. It is uninhabitable and in complete disarray. The door has been locked and the key is now being stored on the third floor of the library. Okay. On the third floor of the library, but above this is not a library. Above this is the master bedroom. We just went there. Okay, there's literally nothing around here. What's that? Tinderbox. Nice. Uh, let's take this book and we'll smash this for some lore. Oops. Gotta be a little bit more forceful with that. What is this? Discovery. I have proof. Proof that other worlds exist beyond our own. Last night, while working in my laboratory, I was busy mixing chemicals in hopes that one of them might produce an amnesia-inducing potion. 
And after the third failure that night, I got so angry that I threw several bottles off of the table into the floor. I've, we've all been there for just this playthrough as well, and we didn't even cock anything up. The chemicals, when mixed, produced an amazing blue shimmer above the pool of assorted liquids, which seemed to rise as if it were just another fume. I took a closer look. I could hear voices inside the fume, as if there were people on the other side beckoning me over. The closer I moved, the louder the whispers grew, and just as I was about to touch the fume, a loud scream pierced my ears and the fume turned blood red. I ran from the laboratory, tail between my legs like the coward I am, unsure of what I had just seen. I have since been unable to recreate the phenomenon, but I am certain that I have made a connection to some sort of other realm. I will continue my research into it, but let it be known that I, Alexander, have discovered the existence of other worlds, which he actually already knew because he was a dimensional traveler from, from, from another world. Uh, I went into the rabbit hole and... Did we do that? Is that us? All of the lore across the game points towards basically Alexander of Brennenberg kind of getting Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa and Johann Weyer, two very famous occultists, uh, together to try and crack the secret of interdimensional travel as if he already had inside information, which he did. He was from the other worlds and he was trying to get back using the other people's occult secrets. Okay, this is a horrible foyer. I would... There's a mezzanine up there. Okay. How tall is this place? There should be a master bedroom, by the way, where we currently are. Right, what's in here? Anything? Hopefully some oil, because we might be running short on it. I completely lied. We still have three bottles. Uh, key. Nice. Third floor key. Wonderful. So I think we've actually just been rewarded for our, for our labor. Is this thing's head following me? No. Okay. Sus. Hard sus. Hard sus on that one. I called sus. Not seeing anything here. I don't know if this is jarring to watch, but this is my process of, of looting. I learned it in Dishonored. You basically look for anything slightly discolored to the natural uh, palette of the game, and you'll eventually find plenty of loot. Nothing. 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 Man, it's like last night all over, all over again. And here, nothing in here, nothing in here, nothing there, 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 oil! Nothing there, nothing there. Okay, so we've got the third floor key, which I imagine we have to just make a straight, a straight sprint to, right? Probably up here? I think so. I think that that's exactly what we're supposed to do. It's locked! There may be a key nearby. There is a key really nearby. It's right here. That's it. Oh my god! No! Why? Why me? Uh. What happened? Hello? No one in here. Okay, I'm gonna take a quick drink. Because I almost just blew out my voice with that one scream. I need to remember to, to scream properly. Did I just bump someone? No. Just some candles. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Nothing. 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 I know this is probably not how the developer expected anybody to experience their mod. Just looking at the walls repeatedly. This is probably going to be a jump scare around this corner, right? It's getting tighter and tighter and tighter. Still don't really see anything. Uh, oh, would you look at that? A key. A guest room key. Nice. Oh, hello. Whoa. Ugh. He dusted. He dusted in front of me. Ooh. Guest room key. Okay, so now we're after the guest room, which is not in this here library. This biblio room. We'll come all the way down here. Very nice, very nice, very nice. And we'll exit out the main thoroughfare. Screw this place, I am not gonna miss it. This place was absolutely just revolting. Terrible feng shui. Terrible atmosphere. I don't know who signed off on having uh, Gregorian murder chanting going on at all times, but I didn't vibe it. 
Okay, good. What's down here? Nothing. Very cash money. So this is storage. Oh, we can go in here. But we've already got the guest room key. Why would we need to go in here now? That took longer than usual. Okay, I'm going to go into the guest room next. Because I've got a sneaky suspicion that this is the natural progression. We go up, up, up and away. We find whatever is in this room right here. This room. Yep, definitely locked. Good. We unlock it and then we enter. This is the order of operation that I'm happy with. Ooh, this is pleasant actually. I like it in here. A lot of crap to explore. I see a bunch of open books. I don't really see a lot of loot if I jump sideways like this. No, I definitely don't see any loot if I jump sideways like that. What about in this drawer? Anything in here? Any bazingas? No. What's under there? Nothing. Okay, this actually looks like a one-for-one -one replica of that other room that we kind of found. So maybe the developer is recycling assets. What's in here? Nothing. Nothing on that shelf. Nothing there. Wait a minute. Oh, I thought one of these books looked really suspicious. There's a note here. Very nice. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Throw that away because we're not using it. And also don't like those knights. Okay. Doesn't look like there's any loot in here whatsoever aside from this piece of paper. Laboratory key. Foolish old man. He doesn't realize I stole his key, swallowed it, and... I did. Now he'll never be able to conduct any more horrible experiments on the innocents. I'm sure he will kill me, but at least I can die knowing I did the world a service. Oh, uh, this is significantly worse than what we just had. In fact, this knight's helmet should not even be on. Is there loot now? Is there anything to loot? Ah, there is. There's a tinderbox. Very cash money. Stole my key and now he is dead. I haven't found the key despite my tireless searching of this room. I've turned the whole damn place upside down and still nothing. I suppose I could always make another one. Alright. So we're looking for some kind of corpse. Unless we have to dagger one of these knights here. Maybe that's the answer. No, nothing. Okay. Oh, God, no! Uh, I'm, uh, mm, 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 mm. This is, uh, this is, uh, yeah, a real, a real predicament, actually. This is, uh, not good. This is not good at all. In fact, if we, uh, huck this helmet over there, I think we can distract him for long enough. Yoink! There he is! I'm going around! No! Not like this! No! Okay, that opens inwards. Uh, what's in here? There is an empty... Oh my god, this place has been ransacked. Okie dokie. I'm still ransacking myself. Oh, would you look at that? We can grab the puzzle. I don't even know what I want to... I don't even want to know what I just wrote down, to be honest. Uh, let's cut his puzzle off. Maybe it's an answer to a puzzle. You dig through the corpse and pull out a key. Well, I'm glad there was a purpose to that. We found the laboratory key. But where is the laboratory? Wait, didn't we already complete the laboratory? That's sus. That's sus as well. Okay, is this guy still in here? I'm gonna assume not because I'm about to go and ransack this here desk. Anything in here? No, no, no. Oop. Yes, there's a tinderbox. Great! Okay, we're off. We're getting out of this place. Screw this place. I've outsmarted its, its best enemy. Okay, good. I wonder if we can light these uh, candles. Uh, 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 I can't reach. I think they're just decorative, to be honest. Probably light these gigantic braziers up here. We've got 60 tinder boxes, which is just excessive. Uh, this is storage. Was there actually a laboratory straight from this area here. There may have actually been. Maybe over here? What's this? Nope, that's just lore. And through here was the library, not the laboratory. That's what I'm getting mixed up with. So I think the laboratory is probably going to be on the other side of the storage. Right? If I'm... If I'm kind of analyzing all of this correctly. 
Okay, storage is just as creepy as when we first entered. Uh, another tinder box up here. Great! Look at all my tinder matches! I've never had this many tinder matches! Okay, what's in here? Screaming. Uh, there is a stuffed rabbit. Poorly made. A, a dog's head as well. Not very amazing. Uh, Lenton literally ran out of oil as we picked that one up. Okay, uh, we're gonna come over here and we are not gonna screw around too much. We just basically want to look for any goodies that are hiding yonder's way. But it doesn't seem like there are any goodies in here other than that one piece of oil. Sorry, one, one jug of oil, I assume. It to be, there's some bread here, that's nice. And also a candle, which we're not gonna light. Why do I hear chains? Is that atmosphere? Is that atmosphere? Please be atmosphere. Or I will become one with the boxes. Nope. Nothing over here. Hello? All right, let's get our lamp off. Use our night vision. But I feel like we're gonna have to very shortly. Okay, nothing around here it seems. Nothing on these bookshelves, no. Maybe something behind here, but also there's the chance for it to be something not behind here. Nope, there was nothing behind there. But we did check, so we know. We know that for a fact. Okay, I tripped on something. I hurt my little tootsies. There are some mushrooms down here. I think we might have to take some mushrooms. Or maybe not. Not is also a, an ideal scenario, to be honest. Maybe not eating the, the random mushrooms down here. Ah, we're all alone. The jingling chains did nothing. Tinderbox. Hard to grab them. Really hard to grab them. Oil. Pardon? Who said that? What's over here? Any loot? Nope, just a bunch of glass bottles, which we could probably actually throw at an enemy if they get too close. Distracting them. Good to know, good to know, good to know. There is nothing in that room. I just peeked into the corner of the door. Oh my god! I'm one with this room. I'm one with this room. I'm one with the sack. I'm one with the sack. I'm one with the sack. Okay, I think we're actually clear. What the hell? No! No, not like this! I'm one with the darkness. I'm one with the darkness. I'm one with the darkness. I'm one with the sack. 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 Go look over there! I'm one with the sack. I am the sack. I'm the sack. I'm the sack. I'm a sack. I'm a sack. I'm the sack. Which way is it? Why don't we probably just smash here? It didn't smash. That's embarrassing. Where the hell is he? Is he even here? Hello? Is that Daryl? Yeah, I think Daryl's just kind of idling in the corner over there. Maybe we could throw a bottle at him for fun. <laughs> How about another? <laughs> Is there any more? We can probably throw a sack at him if we're um, if we're really, really dick serious. Yep, here we go. Missed. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Blewitchin in the storage! How is he even doing in here? Hello? Daryl? Theo? No, it's definitely Daryl. Oh, there he is. Righty ho! Maybe we have to juke him. Maybe we have to kind of run away and get him to, to not be so close to us. Or maybe he's just disappeared. I've got a sneaky suspicion that he's just disappeared. I'm gonna put all my money 
on he's just disappeared. I'm willing to stake my life on it. Okay. It's looking good so far. I think I hear him. No, I think he's gone. Well, that's what mushrooms will do to you. Okay, I'll go down there after I finish ransacking this room right here. Any goodies? That is a gigantic butter knife or a scalpel, I can't tell. It's kind of hard to tell how sharp something is in a video game. Unless it's got like a, a, a sharpness meter on it. Which that butter knife did not. Or scalpel. Again. I don't want to assume it's gender. I haven't studied the blade long enough to, to, to be able to do that. I'm coming in here. Playing DuckTales Remastered in the background should suck. <laughs> should I start with the Amazon, Transylvania, African Mines, Himalayas, or the Moon? Uh, start with the African Mines. If Elon Musk's father is anything to go by, there are heaps and heaps of emeralds there, and you can get very, very rich very, very quickly. Might even be able to go to the, go to the moon with that. Okay, still looking around here. There's not really a lot here, uh, in all fairness, which probably makes a lot of sense. I think it's just a hidey hole for when we get maybe spotted or when there's an alert. Okay, like right now. How about right now being exactly when we should be in here? I'm on with the beam. I'm on with the beam. One 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 with the beam. You can call me Jim. Jim Beam. I'm Jim Beam. I am the beam. I am the beam. I am the beam. Nah, there's no way he's gonna come in here. He's, he's too stupid to even think about it. I can hear. Oh, no. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't come this way. Please don't come this way. Oh, he's coming this way. Okay. Is he, is he coming around the corner? Yes. Okay, I'm trying to stop. I'm literally stuck on the bookshelf. I can't see. All right, here we go. I'm running away. I'm getting it away. I'm on with the box. One with the box. One with the box. I'm on with the box. I'm on with the box. I'm on the barrel. I'm on with the barrel. Our superpower has been triggered. I'm on the barrel. I'm on with 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 the barrel. I'm one with the barrel. I can hear his joints creaking around. Same, brother. Same. Same here. I think he's gone. We'd probably test this out just by throwing a box. Okay, I didn't hear a response, so I assume he's gone. Was there anything? Oh, no, I hear him. I actually... Oh, piss, 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 Oh, that's handy. I didn't even know I could do that. I want with the barrel. I want with the barrel, except for that Judas barrel right there that just gave away our position. I'm on with the barrel. I'm on the barrel. I'm on with 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 the barrel. How's that lantern looking? Oh, it's half full. I'm on with the barrel. 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 I am the barrel. I am now the barrel. I'm the barrel. I am the barrel. I'm the barrel. The barrel contains liquid. I am mainly liquid. I am a barrel. I am the barrel. I'm the barrel. I'm the barrel. I am the barrel. I am the barrel. I am the barrel outwitting Dimwit Daryl. I did it. I've outwitted the the oaf. <laughs> Just by sitting in the corner and giving myself some affirmations. It worked. It actually it it, it did it. It did a job. Okay, I'll come around here. There's a chest right here with some goodies, some health stuff. Would have been really handy to have this in. Not again! I can't... God, I can't open this. Okay, I got one of them. I, I want them all. Got a sanity potion, very nice. 
Oh, this is hard. There we go. I got all of them. Impressive. Okay, we can use that lamp. I didn't hear any bad dudes down here, so I'm, I think we're pretty much in the clear. As far as Dimwit Daryl and his meaty arms goes. Okay, that looks like a chase sequence. Let's try... Didn't it? It seemed like a chase sequence, didn't it? I'm still looking for supplies in case the game continues onwards. Nothing in here, just creepiness. And also a black screen. Black screen of death. Uh, it appears as though there's a, a light on on the other side of this door. Hello? Hello? Okay. No! Okay, if he comes around that corner, I'll go this way. If he comes around this corner, I'll go that way. There are some goodies here, though. Like, whatever that is. I think it's laudanum. There's two tinder boxes, which I am going to grab, even though I'm not using them. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm one with the thief. I'm one with the th That's a hard one. I'm one with the thief. I'm one with the thief. I'm one with the thief. I'm one with the, I'm one with the thief. I'm one with the thief. I finally found a tongue twister that gives me. I am one with the thief. I am one with the thief. I am one with the thief. There we go. It's probably the first time I said it right. I'm one with the thief. One with the thief. Again, it's still very hard to say. I'm going. I know this is a chase sequence. I'm going for it. Yep, there we go. Here he comes. Here comes Jump with Daryl and his gigantic. No, it's blocked. Piss! I, oh, I almost juked him. I was this close. Wait, do we have a key? Darkness provides cover. No, it did not. We do have a key. Oh. Fine. Wow, he demolished every single one of those boxes. Now that's a man who knows how to smash a box. Boop. Key, 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 key. Go and go and go and go. We made it. We made it. We made it. We made it. We actually made it. Unless he's coming back through, in which case, uh, piss. Big old piss. Right, what's in here? There's some lore and a tinderbox. Very nice. Uh-huh. 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 Yep, 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 yep. Good. Amnesia potion test two. Test two. Primary ingredient. Berries from a dogwood tree. The subject's reaction to the potion was horrifying. His skin immediately became covered in red pul pus pustulating boils. He uh, screamed in agony as they continued to grow and eventually burst, killing him instantly. What a mess. Conclusion? Failure. Oh, I see. This is the burst. Uh, that's absolutely revolting. I don't think he's going to need that laudanum if he's burst into a giant uh, cloud of pustules, so let's take it for ourselves. This will probably have the Amnesia Potion Test 1, right? Amnesia Potion Test 1. Oh! Oh, yeah, I just got an achievement called Master Archivist for reading all notes in all games. That's hilarious. Amnesia Potion Test 1. Test 1. Primary ingredient, Wolfsbane Root. Upon receiving the potion, the subject began to hallucinate and sweat feverishly. He then vomited several times and passed out. His vitals are fine, and when he awakens, the results will be gathered. Results! The subject remembers everything and acts as though he simply has a touch of influenza. I've sent him back to his quarters to heal. Conclusion? Failure. Well, good thing we've got all these tinderboxes around the place. How, how would you stimulate amnesia without matches? Like, literal matches? Hey, I'd love a video at the end of the year that is ranking all the games you played, series you've done so far. Oh, yeah, like a tier list? I could do that. Oh, no! I'm gonna hide in here. I'm gonna hide in here because there's blood in here and I, I, I fancy my chances in this one. There's a tinderbox right there, too. That is a great list, kind of like a retrospective of the, of the year for the channel. Well, coming up on November this year, I'll have been doing daily uploads for a whole year. Which is actually quite impressive if you consider that I've been editing them as well. Okay, there's a note here that we can read. Servant construction test two. Test two, primary focused, forcing permanent amnesia and twisting flesh. 
The subject was brought without any knowledge of what he would be testing. I gave him the amnesia potion I perfected in earlier tests and waited for his memory to vanish. Once it's, it had fully reached full effect, I shackled him to the table. He pleaded for mercy as I moved towards him with a sword. I began cutting his left arm off with the intention of replacing it with a weapon. His screams were blood curdling, despite the constant use of laudanum. After removing his left arm, I began to stitch on the blade and he began to go into shock. I fed him the amnesia potion again, hoping it would make him forget what had happened and also allow him to endure a bit more. I finished attaching his new arm and noticed that his flesh had begun to deteriorate rapidly, possibly a side effect of the amnesia potion. I then inserted metal wiring inside his flesh to hold it together. By this point, however, the subject had expired. It seems the human body can only take so much. Unless I can find a way to reanimate the dead, this may be a lost cause. Conclusion? Failure. World's first cyborg, technically? Yeah? I don't... I don't really see any evidence of there being kind of like... any technology strapped to him. Because a, a blade is very, very crude use of technology. Okay, there's no way he's going to come in here. There is no way he's coming in here. No way. No way, in, no way in hell. I've got a bone. I'll bone you! I'll bone you if you come in here! Don't make me bone you! Get it at a nice little, like, javelin angle. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> so the momentum force really hurts. Okay. I think he's gone. Ow. I think he's gone. I, I, I fancy my odds that he is gone. Let's go and ransack the rest of these cells that we just ran past. He didn't bust down a single door, which is pretty funny as well. Uh, you are taking the piss. There's no way he's still here. Amnesia potion test three. Test three, primary ingredient, Damascus rose petals. That was success. Damn Dr. Wang got an upgrade. <laughs> yeah, I'll say. The subject had no- Oh, they could have stitched like a leg onto his severed arm to give him a third leg. That would have been hilarious. That's- And then they could have given him the name Dr. Wang. That would have been just layers on layers of just funny humor. The subject had no initial reaction to the potion. After about five minutes of observation, however, he began to sweat and his head rolled around as if they were under the influence of a hallucinogen. Shortly thereafter, he began to exhibit signs of an impending blackout. Upon waking, he began asking questions, such as who he was and where he was. Conclusion. Success. Damascus rose petals, specifically the oil they secrete, seem to be the key ingredient. Uh, yeah, I actually knew this because that was the kind of useful lore that we got out of Amnesia Justine. Was that the Amnesia Potion was made from the, the Damascus rose oil. Very helpful. He's not still here, is he? No, he's gone. Okay. Going in here next. There is a literal skeleton right here, how creepy. And the exact same positioning right there. Two tinder boxes, which we'll take for the collection. A note here, probably a failed experiment based on amnesia potions. And nothing here. Servant construction test one. Test one, a primary focused artificial life. My attempts to create artificial life for this creature have failed me thus far. It seems life is much more difficult to produce than I originally thought. This subject did not react at all to any of my methods, which included electrical stimuli and injections of adrenaline. Conclusion, failure. That is crude. That is sub... What you're after, my dude, is some necromancy. You're not really after anything else. Uh, oh, what's in here? I just hit myself in the face with that door. Tinderbox, thank you. Anything in the drawers? Any nipples? No, there never is. Oil, thank the Lord. Servant construction, test three. Test three, primary focus, reanimating dead flesh. I recently discovered the reason for my failure to create artificial life. It seems one cannot simply, one cannot simply bring life to that which was never living. However, the electrical pulses I sent through the subjects in the first test seem to work on the recently killed rats I have experimented with. I then decided to try it out on the subject from test two. It took longer than expected, but after several pulses, I began to notice slight movement. That is because if you electrocute a body before the rigor mortis sets in, which is around about two days after death, uh, the muscles are still moving and contracting. After another short time, I heard a low guttural groan come from the subject. Its face had bed come contorted into a terrifying way, but it seemed to bear no animosity towards me. I spoke to it and told it that its reason for being was to protect me. It then walked off down the hall and began patrolling. It seems that Servant considers me its father, as I was the one that created it, and thus it will not harm me. This was surely my greatest achievement. Conclusion, success! 
Okay, very good. So that's basically who we're coming across now, right? We're coming across the servant. Which way do we go? Darkness or light? It's always the age-old question, isn't it? Ah, I'm going darkness. I don't know why I'm going darkness, but I'm going darkness. I'm going darkness. I'm going darkness. I'm going with the darkness. Love of the rocks! You know, the darkness. They also did Black Shuck, which no one recognizes, but it's my, by far my favorite song by them. Okay, I'll definitely pick up the tinderbox and laudanum right here. There is another room over there. I'm getting really, really fast at looting. Have we all noticed? I'm getting really, really quick at this. I think this is supposed to be a storeroom, isn't it? Okay, good. Uh, anything over here? Just a bunch of torture stuff. That's fine. Can we play with it? We can play with it. Fun. Nice. I don't know what those noises were. It's locked. There may be a key nearby. Well, it's not in here. Okay, we'll continue to stumble around in the darkness instead of actively going towards the light. Because I'm a masochist and I understand the benefit of delayed gratification. This is not what I expected to see. Justine made Amnesia's law so bat crap insane and I love it. Yeah, I know, it confirmed Apparatus Science as being a canon entity, which is just silly. But at the same time, we got a further... We got a further explanation for the whole Amnesia Potion in the first place, which was not very well explained in Daniel's thing. Final experiment. Final test, primary focus, traveling to another realm. The time has come. I have learned through my studies that traveling to another realm becomes possible when the soul leaves the body. It seems the barriers between realms are not only passable by souls, not flesh. There may be other ways, but I'm running out of time. Okay, so when your soul leaves the body and goes to another realm, how do you get back into another body to interact with things in a corporeal form? You don't. It doesn't work like that. Thus, I shall do what any great scientist should. I will delve into the unknown by making the ultimate sacrifice and pray my work has not misled me. My plan is to drink a potion, which will stop my heart. I do not wish to cause any physical harm to my body, as I do not know how my soul will manifest itself in the next realm. Perhaps it will recreate the flesh it came from. That doesn't happen. And if that is the case, mortally wounding myself would be a very grim mistake indeed. You cannot just see atoms in the air randomly materialize into functional flesh with all of the same brain synapses as somebody would have from an entire lifetime ex of experience. It just doesn't work like that. The only downside to this experiment is that I do not know how to return. I may never be able to. Correct! However, I must go through with this. My curiosity is too much to withstand. It is time. I hope I am right. I have consumed the potion! It won't be long now. Alexander. Well... Uh, okay. Weird. Again, uh, this mod is now retconning the... very, very... bold assumption that Alexander is actually a human. And always was a human. Because reading into Amnesia the Dark Descent, he was never a human. He was always kind of like this this interdimensional traveler who was stuck in our world and he needed to go back to his realm, not his planet, per se. Some oil here, perfect. But that's just me being nitpicky, to be honest. Okay, I'll continue along here. I Did I find a key? Yeah, I found a key. Uh, we can go in here into this nice delightful prison how lovely i am ravished by the decor of this room oh no it's gonna be one of them with some okay i trust i trust me uh, this one won't open. Is there like a hole in the fence I have to jump through? Maybe through here there's like a... A way. Why would we want to go in there? Why is it locked? Is my immediate concern. Okay, we didn't move this one. Is it... Oh my god, if we stand on this, can we... Can we fly? Almost! So close! But it seems as though we apply forces against what we jump on as well. I think I see something under this one. Oh, you can fly! Nice, that's good to know, actually. Aladdin's carpet, that is. We got a note right here. I'm gonna fly on this, uh, on this bedroll first. Look how high we can get! Oh my days, I've broken it. Okay, good. I found an exploit. No! We need those as well! Those tinderboxes. 
Why are there matches in somebody's prison cell? Who cares? Screams! I can hear them all night, all day. The screams of my former cellmates. It fills me with the deepest dread one can imagine. Why is he doing this? Does the mistress know? All we ever did was try to be good servants. Is this our just reward? I overheard him talking. He says if you die, your soul moves on to another realm. But he fears that the body your soul inhabits will take on the form of your previous body. Wounds and all. Perhaps if I can manage to kill him before he gets to me, I can stop this madness. I need to find a way to pierce his foul heart so he can never again reincarnate. All I have is this bucket and it will take some time to... The note cuts off as if the prisoner had hid the letter in a rush before completing it. Piss. 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 Piss everywhere. Which way is he going? Which way is he going? He's going that way. He's busting down the door regardless of how we feel about him, which is pretty funny. Alright, he's insisting on going that way. Let's try and go this way without looking at him so he can't see us. Well, that was unusually functional. Ah, okay. I didn't think that risking it would actually pay such dividends. Alright, let's start gapping it. Okay, we're out of oil, uh, which is simply not true. Jam some oil in there. That's not where we want to go. That's not where we want to go. Either. We want to take this little path right here. And I think if we go... Is it this way that's locked? It's got a lock on it? No, it was in the storage room. Way back here. Way back this way. Okie dokie. So what is in here? This room right here. This Yeah, this one's locked. The rusty key. Here's no markings. Oh, that was cool. <laughs> Hello there, ma'am. Nice bazingas. Lovely bazingas. Yes, nice to see you today. Great bazingas. Hello, lovely bazingas. Nice to see your bazingas. What was what was that? Nice bazingas. Uh, nice bazingas. Nice bazingas. Uh, lovely to see your bazingas. Lovely bazingas. We're off. We're off into the question marks. I think we were just rushed along. Oh, look. It's Alexander of whatever this world is. Hello again, Daniel. I wish I were more surprised to see you. You truly are a persistent man. You deserve credit for that. As I'm sure you know by now, Helen is long dead. You stood in my way. You stopped me from seeing her again. So, Daniel, I hope you are prepared to die because my machine here will ensure every die. Oh. What is going on? That battle music! That's... What is that from? I know that music! It's not Zelda. It's not Final Fantasy. Ooh. A rock! Take that, you big bastard! No! What are you doing? Stop! I threw a rock at him. I literally just threw a rock at him. That's all I did. Jesus! He is not happy with me. Oh, I see. Do we just basically have to fire up all of those little beams right there? Possibly. Possibly indeed. I don't know. We gotta do it like three times, right? Quite obviously three times. Oh, here we go. Another rock. A rock! No! That sucks. That sucks. We had that in the bag. Oh, would you look at that? The rock has spawned. Here you go, buddy! I got the oh, piss. Okay, we're still on a second phase. Woo. Nope, that didn't do anything. Couldn't quite get it past him. I'm gonna try to throw it again. Nope, it's doing literally nothing. Do we have to throw it at the things up top? Is that what we initially broke? No, it's, it's not even remotely close enough, right? Okay, almost just died. Almost just died again. Here you go! Oh, no, it's not doing anything. I think we actually have to just stand under this thing, jump in and throw it. I think we have to... Oh, it hit me in the head before it fell down. That was close. Okay, we die. I think I know what I have to do. I think we have to throw the rock at the uh, machine above us. Okay, let's do this. Let's finish this. No, it did nothing, actually. 
Uh, we took one really, really big hit. Not good. Okay. What, do we have to get like really close or something? Because this just isn't working. What the hell is going on? What do we do with this rock? We don't have to like throw it at the beam or something, do we? Uh, I lost my rock. I lost my rock. Rock? Oh. I wonder why I lost my rock. I am so lost, by the way. A boss fight in Amnesia game is... Uh, yeah, it is. It's happening. Okay, so we don't throw it into the beams. We don't throw it at Alexander. We don't throw it at the things above us. I don't think we... I don't, I don't think this rock is uh, what we think it's being used for. Right. Piss on this guy. Oh, there's a bloody wall there! I can't throw it past the wall. Do we have to, like... Do we have to wait until it, like, dissipates or something? Do we have to wait until his, uh, ult pulls down? Ow. Yeah, we took that one fair and square. What if I just stand here? Uh, now! Go! Nope. Or not. How about now? Nope, still a gigantic wall of just pain and fire preventing us from, uh, from killing this guy. Oh, that was close. I don't know what's killing us. Like, like there's, there's no way of knowing what's killing you. Because I'm not getting too close. Whoops. Whoops. I accidentally just hit one of my hotkeys and it absolutely just cocked everything up. Good grief. Okay. It opened my inventory, it opened Steam, and it swapped out the tabs that I was that I had active. Ow, we've already taken some damage. We were not even remotely close to the beam either, I will point out. This is uh, probably one of the stupidest boss fights I've encountered in a first-person game, to be quite honest. Like, I've seen some real bad ones, but this one's just revolting. It's actively killing us uh, without explaining how, why, or... Any which way. Do we literally just have to avoid the beams or something? Do we have to... Wow, okay. We had to throw it at that thing that had literally nothing on it. That is so silly. That is absolutely ridiculous. Okay, now we gotta wait until another rock falls down. I'm happy to do so. I'll, 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 just, I'll just run around and wait. Yep, that sounds like a rock's about to come down off the ceiling. Oh, there it is. Just look at that. Woo! So the first time we did that, the first time we did that, it just bounced off the shield. Very well, I suppose I will let my servants do the work. Servants, feast on his flesh! Sorry, I went full Mr. Midnight just then. Okay, there he is. The guy's Theo. That one was a fool. I have plenty more. Oh, wait. Are you killing your own dudes, my dude? Apparently not. That's okay, I'll juke him around if I must. I knew I should have figured out a way to make them more intelligent. Why? Why bother? Literally, why bother? Is there any need? Is there any need to make them smarter? I, they do their function, right? I don't really think that I... Okay, I did not walk into that, that beam. I actually did not walk into that beam. This is a slog. This is actually a real pain in the ass. I see you are hell-bent on destroying everything that belongs to me. Oh, I didn't do that, buddy. It was you. You did that. Enough! What are you gonna do now, you big bastard? I will bring this entire structure down on your head! Okay, that's fine. I don't mind. You do you, buddy! You do you! Yes! Crush him! Now is my chance! Oh, now is my chance. I will take my dagger and thrust it into his cold, dark heart. Boop. Good riddance, Alexander. What? No! Why is the shed over here? Wait, I, sense, I feel a sense of calmness. I don't think it's out to kill me.
What is that at the center? I should investigate. Maybe it's Johan Weyer. We're about to find out. Uh. Hello? The shadow sent me home. Why would it aid me? Yeah, that is a bloody good question, huh? Excuse me? No, nope, nothing under there worth taking. Why are we so slow? Downstairs. That was a pretty yucky upstairs, gotta be said. What's in here? Nothing, nothing, unless... There's a piano over here and it's got a weird little glow. Okay, don't know why. There's nothing here worth smashing, I don't think, but, you know, win in, win in Rome. Good, and uh, I'll get that one from a distance, I think. And also, uh, that one that I didn't get as well, I'll, I'll, I'll get to that one there. Good, what's out here? What if the shadow is still chasing Alexander? Well, it sucks to be him if that's the case. Hello? Hello? What if the shadow somehow knew he was still alive in another realm? Oh, that's kind of its purpose. Oh, we just went downstairs and now we're going back upstairs. That must be it. Perhaps it needed my aid to kill him once and for all. And now to the bedroom. This house is just like a literal straight line. Whoever designed this needed to be fight. Oh, never mind. There's a bend. Alexander or used the orbs too long and his soul simply passing to another realm wasn't. He needed to die indefinitely. You'll have to pause this video if you want to read that. Perhaps this then is all over. Uh, any loot in here? No. No loot in the drawers. Is there ever loot in the drawers? Probably not, now that I think about it. I need some sleep. Yep, okay. Is that usually what you think when you see a picture of Jesus being crucified? Oh, I'm tired. <laughs> oh, I thought this would smash. It smashed! Okay, and on to bed we go. With our trusty lantern, which we will never go anywhere else without. Wait, is the story literally that we get abducted, abducted again? Oh. Angst at his family who yelled at him constantly while playing because of certain scares. I'm not seeing anything that I recognize. A very special th uh, thanks to Cryotic again. Many ideas from the story are meant to pay homage to the original. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. That was good. Frustrating at times. Um, confusing at times. That boss fight was completely unnecessary. That would have taken ages to have programmed. But ultimately not bad. Not bad indeed. Okay. Nice! Uh, that was actually really fun. I did enjoy a lot of the puzzles in that. Unfortunately, because it took so long, I have to, I have to go. I've got a bunch of stuff to do tonight, and I will probably be back tomorrow to play the next custom story, and then I'll be having a crack at Deltarune at some point. So, uh, thank you everybody so much for watching. Right up here you're going to find the playlist of Amnesia Custom Stories, and right up here you're going to find another playlist that I think you'd really enjoy. If you hit the subscribe button on your way down to the description below, you'll find a link to my Discord where you can talk to me personally. And until I make the next episode, thank you so much for watching, and goodbye!